Oh man, um, so yeah, man, you say you want to do some content. What you want to talk about? Bro? Shit, well, that's, that's for starters, man. You you got a baby on the way. You got a baby that's here by the time this probably come out. Facts. I might drop this fast. Just get it, yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. You you, you, you lucky, bro. Yeah. Not lucky, but like I you, get what you're saying. I ain't taking it personal. Bro, I, I, bro, I got some ones that I ain't drop. I mean, months. Yeah. I know yeah. you backed up on content. Yeah, but I might drop this ASAP. Though. Yeah, we might as well get it out the way. But no, let's talk about it, man. You um, you on the verge of having your first child, dog. Like, I know you've been a dad, you yeah. know, for for Amaya. You know, what I mean, I already see how you carry. It. But like, you know, you got baby, baby Alani J Hill. Let's talk. Yeah, man. I don't even know. Yeah. I mean, it's a blessing. I'm still. Damn, I'm gonna keep it all the way. Honey. Yeah, please. I, I like. Damn, man. I'm, I'm kind of scared to say. <laughs> but no, so I just like I I kind of don't want to get too excited. Elaborate, bro. Like, you know where we from, bro. Like, I, like uh, I think I'm still scared of like disappointment. Mm. So, like, you know, so many things can go wrong in pregnancy and stuff like that. Uh, and it's like I want to just hold her first. Mm, you feel me? Like, mm. I, like I don't want to. And I know this might sound crazy because, like, I'm not expecting the worst or nothing like that. But like, that's that's just as a black man, that's, that's just, just the logic in your head. You feel me? So it's yeah. like, man, I, it's like I'm. I feel myself getting so excited. And I had to keep telling myself. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. And it's like, I don't want to feel like that. I want to enjoy it. I was about to say that. Crazy. I think I think this is a moment, man. I'm going to keep it a beam, bro. I think you should be extremely excited. It's your first child. And, um, man, you you told me earlier you went to church. I think that's in God's hand. I think, mm. I, I ain't going to say I think, man. I, I I got a strong sense of knowing that things going to be cool. Yeah. And uh, you know, I can understand the anxiousness in it. And when you in that room, bro, like, because I witnessed my kids being born. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah, but, like, it's, it's, you going the, the anxiety going is going to heighten. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Because, like, you see, I mean, I, I me and my baby mom was never together. I, I was just there in full support of my kids because, uh -huh. you know, that was the circumstances. But you're going to see somebody you love that you with in pain, and you really can't do nothing about it. Damn. So it's like, you know, that's going to be an experience in itself. But, you know, I, I'm lo I'm looking forward to how that go. But not even just having a baby on the way, bro. You, you also, you engaged, bro. Yeah. You a grown man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yo, I pre yo, it's crazy because, like, man, it's just crazy how God working, like, how, like, just, like, you don't really have to chase nothing that's meant for you. Mm. Like, our friendship, for real. Yeah, yeah, facts. Like, I feel like, I don't want to say the content was forced, but we was trying, like, I was trying to work for sure. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 100%. But even out of that came, like, a real friendship. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 100%, 100%. the fact that you pulled up to Baltimore from Philly. Yeah. Like. That shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, it was no like, way I was missing that. And I didn't even know you was a proposing. Bro, I was just coming for the yeah, baby shower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, that was crazy, bro. I appreciate you for that. That shit. And even our talks, bro, it's just like, man, we really be. I wish sometimes we could, ha like, we could turn it on and off. Because, mm -hmm. like, our conversation be a podcast. And Every so, single time, bro. Yeah, a two hour cool. conversation, all gems. It's all gems. That shit is crazy. But how are you, bro? bro how, how, how was um Philly? I'm good, bro. And I, I've been enjoying it, man. Um, just to kind of segue from where we, we 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 was, I was out here with you. We had the shit going on. I realized I was in a real deep state of depression. So mm -hmm. you know, I felt like like if I'm being real, like when I look at how the chips fell, I felt like it was all, all roads pointing back. You know what I mean? But I never looked at. See, it's like this. I got. Can I give you a, a reference? Like you ever watched The Lion King? I have. All right, that's one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. That's not a kid movie, by the way. If anybody here watching, that's an adult movie. You just got to dissect it. Is that but, Disney? I feel like they said a lot of Disney movies like I'm that. I'm telling bro. you, bro, that shit deep. But I'm going to just reference just one part. You know what I mean? Simba, you know, when he when he ran away from the Pride Lands, when Mufasa had passed away or whatever, Scars can't scare him away. He went and was living with Timon and Pumbaa. You know what I mean? He, Kuna Matana, like, it means no worries. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He out there living carefree. But he got real responsibilities back home. But he not handling the responsibilities because he out here a Kuna Matata. No, mm -hmm. It means no worries. Right. So then when Nyla, the other lioness, come find him, like, yo, you got to you gotta come back home. Like, you, you got responsibilities here. Right. He like, no, it's lit out here. Like, this is Atlanta for me, though. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, it's carefree. I can club. I can party. But I got kids back home. I got real responsibilities. And I'm not even effectively being able to provide the way I'm, I'm capable of. Because when you out here, you know, when you first get out here, it's a struggle. Like, we ain't going to act like you just come out here and get on paper. Right. So I started the transportation company. Started the... um. The, uh, the event space yeah. And it was cool But it wasn't cool Still had a lot of uh, My overhead You know what I mean So basically Long story short to, to clap off With the Lion King reference For me it was like I was being called back Because I had real responsibility So when Simba went back He had to you know Fight for his land Or whatever mm -hmm. Do what he had to do But he ended up Taking his rightful place where he was belonged, and I feel like that's what happened with me. So Philly been good, man. It, it, I, I'm it, I be in and out, you know what I mean. But I'm a resource there, mm. and um, it's good to have people like you. So like, even if somebody get to a certain level, right, and I could tap, in, yo, listen, my my bro out Atlanta, mm -hmm. he has got a plan. I want to be that. And you, man, we talked about it. You're like, yo, being you could be a resource for yourself. So yeah, like, like back in, even like just like 
it's give and take thing, like right, yeah. like as as long as I got somebody, as many people as I can get that's in different rooms, that's gonna always have good on my name. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be in Philly, I'm in Atlanta, I see somebody, yeah, you in Philly, man. I know my, the nigga Wolf like exactly. that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's somebody else that's so on the seat for you when you're not even there to sew it for yourself. That's real. That's real. So like, nah, that, it, it things happen for a reason, bro. Yeah, man. But I, let me give you your flowers, man, because I remember, dog. Like a lot of people don't know, man. I remember I watched you sacrifice, bro. Like, yeah. like people they see the platform and they just think like you probably just been nah. I seen behind the scenes, bro. The nigga really moved down here on a woman alumn. Slept on your homie couch. That, said, no yo, cap. give, Damn, give me, give me, give me thirty days, and I'm gonna get a spot. It was 60. I'm Six, a, no, you said 30 uh, at first. Yeah. You asked yeah, for 90. Yeah, yeah. Then he yeah, said, yeah, you said right. no. In fact, and yeah, then you right. said, give me 30. Yeah, you, I think you probably yeah, finessed yeah, the yeah, 60. Yeah, 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 yeah. But two months later, you jump in your own spot. Then right after that, you moved your family down here. You see right. what I'm saying? All while recording your own content and not really having the most resources down. We was really trying to make thugging. it work. We was thugging it. We was thugging. You know what I'm saying? So when I see this shit, it be like, like I'm proud of myself, but I be happy to be proud of my dog. Like, I'm yo, saying. like, because everybody don't survive out this joint, bro. Yo, what happened to just that and like just what you said, bro? Like I'm I'm proud proud of myself, but like I'm just happy for my dog too. Yeah. I feel like what happened to that and to I don't wanna sound like the old nigga, but it's, just, <laughs> it's like, yo, cause like like that that used to be the, the thing. Like you yeah. could see somebody like, bro, I'm just really like I'm so happy to see my friend win. Yeah. Now it's like it's it's attached to something else, like mm -hmm. it's jealousy and, mm -hmm. and and granted, I understand feelings are real and I'm I'm big on that. Like nah. I get emotions are real. I understand that, like and things gonna come, but it's like it's like it's taking over now. Yeah, no, like, that's a fact. No, it's, it's, it's for real, for real. It's a lot of people operating out of ego and main character syndrome is at an all time mm. high. Like Instagram made everybody feel important, that's and it ain't crazy. to say that we all not important in our own story, but the fact of the matter is, now people feel like they gotta be more important than you, even in your story. You Damn. know what I mean? And I think you know what else I think it is. I think it's also like a part of it is like low self esteem, hundred percent. And that's okay if you just go. Fix it. I mean, not fix it, but if you like, just go get the help you need. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just do some self-reflection, some things like that. Hundred percent. Because it's nothing wrong with that. It's a, a, a normal feeling, but don't let that affect you. Hundred percent. We all have low self-esteem at times. We yes. feel like I don't know. We feel imposter syndrome. Yeah, like all that. We talked about real. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just don't let that overpower the moment. Like it, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep it hundred. Like I'm human. I have those feelings. Mm -hmm. But if I see you winning, if I if I if I feel it, I'm gonna check myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, honestly, yeah. sometimes I try to like. Overcompensate when I when I'm lacking. So yeah, that makes if sense. I'm lacking, I probably I don't know. I probably do something extra to support you yeah. more, so I can just trick myself out of that book because I know that's a devil. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You just hit it on the nose, though. I think everybody do experience it in one way or another, but I think it really just come down to knowing, like, yo, what, what what's for your dog is for your dog, and what's for you is for you. And I think that a lot of people struggle with that. Like, I don't, I really don't want nothing that's something that's not for me. And it's mm -hmm. like. You know, like it, it, that's why the at least case, the, at worst case, at least get motivated. You know what I mean? Like you can get around him and be like, "Damn, he's so turned up." I got at gotta, least get motivated. At least get motivated. Don't don't allow it to make you depressed though, because the way I look at it, bro, you I can call you. I can come to your crib. I'm probably gonna hold your child within the first month, couple months. I've been. So the bigger you get, that's just the more resources I got. Like, I'm not afraid to call you, yo, Hill, I seen you were just with such and such, bro. I link me. And you the type that will do the link. You will link a motherfucker. Nigga, you took me to Ross Crib. Like, <laughs> bro, no cap. I can't. Oh, my God. I ain't going to say no name. So, the nigga uh, that he he has a uh, platform, right? Mm. And, well, him. He does on a radar platform, right? Yeah. And he got Drake on. Yeah, yeah I just seen that, that, that fire ass freestyle today. Fucking crazy. Drake, you know, Drake, life changing. Yeah. So I immediately called my man because he does like a platform as well. And I was like, bro, you know what this mean? Yeah. He's like, what? I'm like, bro, this mean that it's, we, it's closer. Yeah. Because I look at Gabe like his platform ain't no more bigger than mine. I mean, now it's different. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, bro, so when it happened like that, it mean that it's only but a matter of time. 100%, bro. You know what I'm saying? But 100%. like you said, like, so, but what will happen is some people see that. And like man, fuck that nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like nah, bro. Yeah. That mean it's only a matter of time. Like when you see that man, that mean bro, we. That mean that if they looking at him, they, they looking be at me. Hundred percent. Come on, bro. Yes, like 100%. so, like we gotta, we gotta be careful with that mentality shit. We gotta be careful with how we look at things, bro. Because again. I said, well, I wasn't trying to be so serious, but like, for real, like, you change your mindset, you change your life. Bro. No, that's a fact. I mean, because we know life is really perspective, man. You're really going to see shit or sugar, bro, and it really mm. come down to how you look at it. Like, it's literally such thing called the law of polarity. That means everything has a polar opposite. For every negative, there is a positive, but mm. in the reverse, every positive, there is a negative. You get to choose which way you look at the situation. Facts. You know what I mean? And most people, they'd rather look at it in a negative way, like, because you know what it'd be, though? They think you're going to act different if you get the look. They assume that you have people 
ever project onto you change all the time. like all the time. Man, I know I know yeah, and you probably smelling yourself because you've been interviewing such and such. The whole time you just looking for familiarity. You just want to mm. come home and be normal. Like right. you just want niggas to treat you like and that's why it be that's what's so weird. Like that's why I be like, I always try to it's weird. I feel like I overcompensate with this. Like, I try to make my friends who somebody understand that we still friends. Like I'm not mm. looking at you different. Like whether we sat down and did this or not, I ain't care. I was just trying to link with my dog. Right. But because yeah, of who we even, are, you didn't even know. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you said let's vlog. I'm like, all right, cause that's the goal to show you though, bro. We went bowling yesterday with you brought your family. I got yeah. my girl. Like, that's like I wanna always and I was just telling them in the car. I said, one thing I know about people who have platforms, the one thing we wanna feel when we get around family is family. Mm. I don't wanna get around family and they think I think I'm better. Like I never said that. Bro, it's crazy because like yo, you hear things coming up, right? And like you really don't see it until you see it. Yes. Until you experience it, right? Like they say, like when you get successful, like it wasn't me to change to be the people around me. <laughs> and like coming up, you think that's bullshit. Like oh, man, fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until you in this position, it's like, damn. Now niggas, now niggas ask me for a different amount of money. It's like, bro, I never gave you that before. No, that's you know, I look out for you, but like <laughs> you want me to pay <laughs> a bill? I never pay one bill. Hey, I probably look hey, out let for me you. hold five grand. <laughs> You asked me for five hundred, like, like, come on now. You ask me for money, like, come on, bro. But yeah. I'm not saying I wouldn't look up for my niggas, but it's like now niggas start moving funny, like, man, I ain't even going. Oh, I know he. You ever, you seen that Joyner Lucas video? Yeah, no, that joint was yo. That that, that, that's that's stuff, it. Right, that <laughs> right there just yo. Oh my, so many people that I fuck with DM me that like, bro, I know you can relate to this. What? But, yo, it's crazy. I just had a situation with my own friends, right? Uh, long story short, man, I had an event recently. And one of my one of one of my he, I call him my little cousin, but he my, my homie or whatever. He 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 was like, "Yo, I'm trying to perform." I tell him, I said, "All right, that's fine. Yo, we do a Zoom call with all the talent because I like to get everybody on one page. Give them the show rundown. Attend the Zoom. I'm gonna give you a personal link. So when you sell your tickets, you get paid directly. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna cash you out of pocket, but sell it. Use this private link. Whatever you make, you know, put this in your pocket. So you get paid for what you do. Was it hundred percent? No, I can't do that. I'm about to say that's crazy. No, no, I ain't gonna even lie. I couldn't do it. But I was being generous. I'll be honest with you. I was okay. being generous. I was being respectful. Yeah. And, uh, like that is like twenty percent. Yeah, that's that's the that's the, the standard, right? Yeah, but yeah. I give I give people more than twenty yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah. I give I give people what they worth because I still got an overhead. I got to no, pay. Fast, fast. But long story short, I tell him that he say, all right, we have a face to face conversation. He never get back to me. I send him the link. Don't intend to zoom. Woo, 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 dog. The day of the event come, he like, all right, it's cool. I, can I perform? No, I tell him no. Flat out, no, you can't perform. He like, all right, can I? Uh, can I? Or can I? We sold out too. Can I come? Can I pay at the door? I said, bro, we sold out. But it's cool when you get there. Give my daughter the money. He say, all right, cause my daughter was doing the door. Whatever he he get in for free. I don't care about that. But the issue was he at the stage at the bottom of the stage like, yo, bro, can I send a DJ my songs? I said no. No, bro. So at the end of the joint, I'm doing my closing statements. He got my other friends in there. Mind you, they don't they not all up to speed, but they chant, let him perform. Let like so he caused a little chaos in my event. But what I had, I went in the group chat and I actually was offended because I'm like, y'all not respecting me as a business. Mm. And I think that that's what people like. Once you we elevating, bro, we elevating as businessmen. Like we were just talking about. Paying and then get, then we start talking about getting paid. Right. So it's like now the conversation is different. We moving different. You gotta respect me at this level. But one of my other homies had made me realize he was like, "Yo, they 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 kind of not ready or not used to you operating like a full businessman. They used to it being like, man, that's just nah, mm -hmm. nah. I'll let you perform. Nah, yeah. I'll let you. So once you get in that type of when you separate from that type of angle, people assume you change, but it's not. I just elevated, bro. I can't do homie business like. I'm you my homie, so you can call me, and you ain't gotta go through protocol. Right. But at some weird down the line, it still gotta be business. Like but you know, it's crazy because even like I've been learning this, like even you doing what you was doing, like it's kind of like you helping him. And he don't even know because he probably wasn't even ready for that moment outside of homie business. And uh, what I mean by that yeah, is that's real. because if it wasn't homie business, is a way is a proper way that you gotta handle business. That's, that's and right. he did not handle business the way the business needed to be handled in that moment. 100%. So if, if it was anybody else, they are gonna say no. 100%. So if you would have said yeah, you could have been easily handicapped him. I would have coddled him. 100%. You feel me? So it's like now it's like okay, now you think it's gonna happen like that on the next one. And it's not yo, that's real. I'm glad you even put it like, like that. Imagine my bad. I mean, no, you but good, imagine, you imagine, if, imagine if that's something you did. Yeah. Imagine if he was getting a big bag, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And now he think he could do it again. It don't work like that because now I, pro I probably got to I gotta report back to who whoever. performing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they're giving me money. Now, niggas don't understand. When niggas is giving a, a large amount of money, they want to know everything that's going 100%. on. 100%. So now you ain't get back to me. I can't get back to them. Yes. So it's just, bro, it's, man. You know what that remind me of, though? Parenting. Like, And I say mm. that to say because it's like... If we we when we teaching our kids it's like if we allow we coddle our kids a certain way mm -hmm. and they go out into the world thinking because my mom or dad let me get away with it they think that the world gonna be like that and it's not so like in the same sense it's like teaching a, somebody that's like tough love Facts. and you know so what's your what's your whole perspective on this gentle parenting shit speaking like tough because you know we came up on tough love you think we came up too tough 
What's gentle parenting? Gent- oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> gen- gen- all right, now listen, don't quote me because I am not a gentle parent. I'm just be honest. But I think it's like, you know, communicating with your child in a way that's not like, I don't know, bro. I can't even, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know how to explain it. You but I, explain I, it? I, anybody, know how to, basically, I think it's just people just not hitting their kids. Not It's more verbal, more uh, equal balance in the community. Like, and I'm cool with it, part of it being gentle. But I do feel like at some point, with a boundary, you have to still have a little... Because tough love is not... Don't mean I'm about to curse you out, yell at you, you know, fucking kill your confidence. It just mean that I'm your parent, but I'm not going to save you every time because if I save you, you're not going to learn. So I, I feel like what you said is... I feel like everybody would agree with that. But I think... Like, I'm trying to get... I wish I could explain. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Shit, so I, I would say maybe no corporal punishment. I think corporal punishment is like when you beat your kids. I think that's what corporal punishment is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never hit my kids. So before. like what I will, what I will say is... Man, this is why like two parent households is super important. Not even in home, like in home is important, but even the co parenting is so important. Yeah, that's a fact. You need a balance in life and anything. You feel me? So like one thing I will say is like my girl has taught me. I don't want to say forget. I might sound crazy, but but yeah, forget about Maya for a second Mm. because I gotta love me first, right? Mm. My my girl has my fiance has taught me how to deal with my parents when they're crossing the boundaries Mm. because I think I feel like at one point in time growing up. I felt like I couldn't defend myself with my parents because this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right. Like you can call me at any given time, at any given you could do this, you can you can you can call me all type of names, you can say this, you can disrespect me. And that's not true. Yes. So because she taught me that about me and my myself, my boundaries with my parents, automatically it, it taught me how to be a better parent because I know that I wouldn't like that for me. You're not gonna overstep, you're gonna let your kids be like vocal and let them have their own personal exactly. space. Exactly, you know, but that you makeup. gotta you gotta know respect for sure. 100%. Right now, and 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 of course, like you do have to understand time and place. My mom's did teach me this, like Kenny Rogers is my son, old as hell. But you gotta know when to hold, when to fold, when mm. to walk away. Mm. You feel me? So like knowing how to read the room. So like if I'm saying something, you might feel some time. You might feel some type of way. But right now ain't the time. To, to say you know what I'm saying? Fact. You could come to me. I'm not saying you can. Yeah, I couldn't come. But right now, it probably wouldn't be the best time the to challenge say something. Me. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. So like. My girl, she definitely did a great job of that, but it also comes down to sometimes you might not like what I say, yeah. and that don't mean I'm doing nothing wrong. No, 100%. sometimes me putting my foot down might not be the, the nicest for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to deal with that. No, hundred percent. But that's why I think it's important to have these two these two parent households, even if it's even if it's co parenting, because it's a balance. Now, now you understand that everything ain't gonna be just the way your mother wanted. No, that's everything a fact. Ain't gonna be the, like somebody had asked me the other day, like. How would you deal with if like Amaya want to wear something or something in the household and like you ain't agree or Sade ain't agree. And I feel like, honestly, I'm not going to say like my word is law, but because I am a man in the yeah, house, yeah, yeah. it is certain leniencies that my girl will be okay with because she know that I'm protecting the house. It's no, hundred percent. So yeah, I might yeah. say, yeah, she, I might say she could wear something that she probably wouldn't agree with. Mm-hmm. She might think it's a little too grown or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, no, Go let ahead. it rock. And yeah. she probably, she won't trust me because she know I'm going to have that back. If, if, if you know, push kind of shove, that's your responsibility to take care exactly. of. Exactly. You know what I like to compare that to? It's like this, right? When you look at the partnership, it's like, we the men, we the head coach. Our, mm. our woman is our assistant coach. So mm. we're going to listen to their suggestions, but overall we're going to make the final say. So you want to get your, your woman going to have a voice, and it's like, all right, cool, we're going to have this conversation. I'm going to hear you out. But when it's all said and done, because the responsibility falls on me, I have to make a decision that I'm comfortable with. Because if I let you make the decision, I still have to take accountability for the fact that you made the decision. And I'm going to pivot, and people are not going to like what I'm about to say, but I look at the whole Adam and Eve notion, right? Mm. Now, like, people are, now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, a, I don't, I didn't read the Bible cover to cover. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about Act like I did, but I understand the concept of Adam and Eve. And people always look at it, and you know, it's all who who to blame, Adam or Eve. But when I look at it differently now, I'm like, God did give Adam specific orders, right? And then Adam turned around and took orders from Eve. So it made me realize that that Adam was a simp. He not a man that represent me. I don't care. Like people not gonna like it, but and I don't mean that to no disrespect to the religion, but that's because at the end of the day, if if God, if my father gave me specific orders, even if it's my sister, and I understand I have to answer to my father, I'm not gonna then allow. Because the serpent was a pimp, in my opinion. Because this is like you, this this serpent fed her something that sounded good. She brought it to you and convinced you of something that was against what the principle that the law that God gave you. Mm-hmm. Adam was a simp. And I know people going to look at it and not going to like it, but it is what it is. That's just, if you look at it logically, because how else do you fall victim to that? Now you, 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 you put the whole humanity at risk because of you not being able to put your foot down. Yeah. I mean, that's different. And I just... Hey, seven. You know you gotta be careful. You talk about <laughs> relation with me. Oh, so like, I just had a conversation about this today. Mm. Not this conversation, yeah, but, but it was something about Adam and Eve. And um, 
just understanding that like you know the the snake was really the devil yeah right but what happened is a lot of times people think the devil shows up in ways where it's so blatant and like i can see it as the devil now he shows up in ways where it's comfortable for yes you. right so like hearing you say is like, i get what you're saying i'm not challenging it but i think no, you for, for the, i think if anything is ignorance though right because you didn't we, who, who, he was the first per man, right? So mm. we don't know how to deal with adversity in those I like moments. that. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, like he has someone that he think he got to protect or whatever the case may be, right? And think about it. God said, yo, reveal yourself. Cool. They reveal themselves. They they cover themselves up because now they know. They they they, 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 yeah, yeah, they, they, they know wisdom, right? ignorant. Right. And they like, they think and they doing something. When it's like, bro, I know that you know because now you covering yourself up because if you didn't know, then you, you wouldn't have did be, it. 100%. Exactly. So it's like, it's, they got caught up in the, the devil and we, and we get... And I want, I, I'm being, I just want to be careful because I don't want to judge him again. We talk about, I don't even, this is crazy, but I'm talking like, yeah, right person, but like, I don't want to judge him or pass judgment on because we get caught up in that every single no, day. No, I like how you put that. I think that, you know, even to just piggyback on what you said, I guess that's where grace was created. Mm. Because like, I feel how I feel about the situation looking at it, like I said, logically. And I, I'm this, this is like, I, I'm Christian, so I, I'm not disrespecting my religion, but I, I had to, I, I seen that conversation and I was the one that used to look at it like, the opposite like yo eve bit the apple you know what mm. i mean she but then i had to take accountability in a sense like well he was giving the orders and you know as a man if if i'm get if if it's a, a structure in my household and my woman tries to change it and i know and i'm not sure of her this like where her information is coming from i'm not changing it because i know one thing for certain i was told not to do this yeah you see what i'm saying but the grace part of it is you're right like when you put in predicament that's unfamiliar you gotta mess up you gotta fuck up one time i'm about to, I'm about to fuck you up though go ahead you, you, yeah 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 no cap and people probably hate me for this because I, I know i ain't probably getting i'm not getting 100 percent, but i think the logic that you're speaking from mm. that didn't even exist yet because if you think about it right if you read further along that came from that moment. So, I agree. so we were supposed to take care of our families and like that was the burden put it on us. Like so you see like the man of the man of the yeah. household, that was the burden put You're on us. Because of that. Because of that. Like just how like women uh have periods and like have yeah. to uh bear children or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that was the burden put on women from that, from that mistake. So ah. our burden was to now be in charge and take care of our family. No, Their listen. burden was to Bear children and everything that comes with it. Yo. So, like, that was the burden directly from that mistake. So, if it was not that mistake, we couldn't even call them. A, it wouldn't even exist. No, no, you I, you know what, though? And I'm going to keep it a being. That that makes sense because, again, like you said, that was a result of that happening. So, that's why they say everything happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because that reason being a punishment, in a sense, of his behavior. But I don't know. Like I said, I just I just had to say it because I was sitting there thinking and it came to my mind. And I'm like, you know, people not going to like it, of course, but, you know, when you think logically, that's just how it appears. Nah, facts. It's crazy because it's, it's going to be a Christian somewhere that's going to be like, we both fucked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> these niggas don't know nothing. <laughs> and then, you know what, though? And I'm okay with that because I'm I'm perfectly fine. With, I'm in the beginning stages of my walk, bro. Like, I'm building my relationship with God, um, and I'm cool with that. Like, I, I'm, I'm not here to discuss and argue every word of the Bible because I feel like so many people interpret the word to their own level understand it, even when you're not supposed to do that. So I really govern my life through the guidance of God, bro. We prayed before we even started. Hey yeah. man, you gonna, I'm trying to tell you, you got to relax. I'm gonna take you to church. Yeah, like, but no, I'm I'm happy. First of all, I'm even happy that you've been going to church because I remember when we was doing the show a few years back, you wasn't even at that space yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you there, yeah. I, I would love that. Yeah. But no, just to kind of get back to the whole um to the the concept of you know you was talking about you know you you making a decision in your household. I said I say that's just what it come down to, man. Any man that's out there, you gotta understand. Like that's why you gotta get con confident within your decision making. You shouldn't defer to nobody as a man. Like you, you run your, you run your show. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got people you gonna allow to to have insight on it. But at the end of the day, this is the J Hill show, so you are the one responsible. If it don't go, you still got people relying on you. You know, I still feel so bad, just like or uh, indifferent about that whole situation when it comes to like running the household. Because so what's your thoughts? A lot of us is like playing house. Like I was too, to be honest. So like. A lot of times, man, I, like I'm trying not to place blame, and like we gotta be, I'll I be trying to be careful with these relationship conversations because like it's so easy to say she's the blame, he the blame, she the blame, and that shit gets a fucking annoying. But I, I'm trying to be understanding of the man and the woman. So right, mm -hmm. so for example, I say we playing house because think about it, man's supposed to lead, right? Mm. And today's society is probably hard to tell the woman that, but it's hard to tell the woman that because they playing house. Because if you was married and you was under covenant and, and no, you're going to be like, it, that's just the law. No, that's a fact. But a lot of times we trying to lay down law where it don't apply. No, because it says that in the Bible when you're married. It don't say that from boyfriend to girlfriend. 
So, yeah, so you're talking that. about being a head of the household. It ain't even no household. Yeah. So like, I get it, but then I had another thing to it. Now we now we're playing house. We're doing all this stuff that we're not supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? I, and yeah, me that, too. Yeah, like, no, I'm no, just, no, like, I don't yeah, want to yeah. come off like no, nobody. Nobody does that yeah, right so, now. But yeah. at the same time, you 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 play with that, and then you put like uh like humanly things, lively things, right? Like so, you introduce cheating. You introduce um I don't know anything. Anything that can hurt your feelings, right? Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. takes away the trust. So as a woman, I'm being, I'm, I'm trying to have grace on women because now men supposed to lead, but now you hear a lot of women say like, "How I'm supposed to trust you to lead when I don't, I barely trust you, or you can't even." You yeah, know what I'm I think I like what you're saying. I think that's a two part thing. I think like a lot of so this for the men, y'all got to stop misleading the women. Like you know what I mean? Like when you get that power, because like. Power and influence is a thing that you have to learn how to correctly control. Like when you mm. got influence, you got a platform. You you know you certain people are watching what you say and do. So it's the same thing. And yet, household you got power. But if you leading your woman astray, so you can go, you know, you diverting her attention this way, so you could run plays behind her back. That's sucker shit. And we just gotta call a spade a spade. I don't think so. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why because it to be a leader. Is a, to be a leader, you have to have everybody's best interests in heart. Mm -hmm. So it's like you can't say that you're leading, but you're the only person that benefit from it. Right. So that's why I say a sucker. So shit. was your parents? Was your parents married? No. So I'm not talking about. I'm not. When I say a sucker, shit, I'm not speaking to the to the notion of the dynamic of the relationship. I'm strictly talking about if you're going to say you're going to be a leader mm -hmm. in any magnitude. If you lead in a, a, t a fucking football team, you got to lead with everybody's best interests. I'm, I'm, I'm actually right. No, so, my parents were not married, bro. So okay. Um, was your the the parent dynamic between you and your parents? My dad did 90% of my life in jail. Cool. So my step pop was there though. So let's say so when you became a parent, yeah. You were put in a position to lead. Yeah. But it's fair to say that you probably wasn't you ain't even you ain't even have a positive uh direction or a positive map or whatever to like know how example. to lead. No, a positive yeah, example, but that's the, how to lead. That's the great thing. So is it sucker shit that if you I don't know make a mistake as a parent? No, we only I'm only speaking to cheating though. Okay. I'm not talking about the mistake as a parent. The sucker shit is so no. So just because you make a mistake, don't mean you misled. You, you, we judge you off your intentions and your character. Mm -hmm. So you, we human. The grace is I can make mistakes. I'm not gonna always get it right. And that's you know so, and, and that's a great conversation. And I'm saying that's true. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent true. I'm like I'm, I'm not disagreeing with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I just think in the human side of us again because we plan house. We're not really in the books. Like and again, me too. But like because we're not, we're not studying the the, the word. You right, right, like right, right, we right. don't even we don't even have a roadmap of how to be great leaders, how to be in relationships. So what happened is the moment, and and we all fall victim. Woman, men, it ain't just a man thing. But the moment I make a mistake in my relationship, right? That's one strike that my my girl looking at me funny, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the the more human I am. The more she, no, the so more that's I, the thing. That's why I, I lose trust two, in her. That's why I said it's a two-way street, and the, that was the other side of it. The other side is that trusting somebody is a struggle within itself. Mm -hmm. But you, but you have to know their heart and their intentions. And women struggle with that. It's a big mm -hmm. struggle for them because you don't only lose trust for what you do. You lose trust with the nigga before that, before you did as mm -hmm. well. So you come into it behind the eight ball, and you almost gotta prove yourself before you can even be at flat grounds of getting trust. So mm -hmm. you almost gotta sh show up above and beyond whatever the last person did. And Order for them to let their guard down. Them, they guard get down. Then they super vulnerable. Now they got this fear of, damn. Now I'm exposed. Now you right. might really hurt me yeah. because now my wall is down. But the fact of the matter is, that's the other side of it. Where it's like when we talk about a union, women have to work on that. Like I tell people, you gotta trust people to be who they are. Mm -hmm. If somebody shows you they're a liar, trust them to be a liar. Trust them to be a thief. Trust them to be a manipulator or abuser. But if they show you they're good, trust them to be good mm -hmm. until they show you something else. What I see happen a lot is, because I'm a relationship coach, is people get mad because they expect people to be something other than what they are. So now it's like, oh, I thought that this liar was going to stop lying. I thought this cheater was going to stop cheating. I thought this manipulator was going to, no, this person showed you who they were, trust them to be that. But if you're dealing with a guy like Jay Hill and, and he led you the right way nine times, and that 10th time he made a mistake, but it wasn't like you went and, you know, you slept around, but you just, you made an error in judgment. You deserve grace because I always tell my girl, she's sitting right there, look at the facts. The facts will show that I have led you more right than wrong, so I'm not fucking perfect. But you, 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 are, you read books, hundred percent. You, you, I you, wrote you books. read, yeah, you write books and you read books. The way of the superior man, hundred percent. We know that, like even you saying that is just showing you that like this is just biology is written. It is the writing is on the wall, bro. As men, so you even saying that it's like just like okay, that ain't nothing that no other man saying. You saying look at the facts. Yeah. I say that to my girl, yeah. but. It's in the biology, like it, you can read the way of the superior man, that that's a man thing. That's how we look at it, that's how we're gonna look at it. And women, they, they just look at things from 100%, another perspective. 100%. So all I'm saying is like, 
I'm just saying, like, far as I'm not saying that it's right or wrong or nobody to blame. I'm just saying, I think because we're human and we're plant house, we don't even know how to love ourselves. Like, everything you're saying is good, but you yeah. learned that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. pretty sure it's still something that you might overlook. No, still shit I'm working on. Yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 and that doesn't mean that, I don't know, you, like, I don't, God forbid, or like, not, not I ain't gonna talk about y'all because I ain't gonna put it on y'all. That don't mean that's your last relationship that. Uh, you was you man. I fucked up. I'm so I'm such an idiot because I ain't catch it. Like she told me this, and I should have believed it. Nah, that yeah, don't mean yeah. that. It's just that. Yeah, I don't feel like that at all. And and that's what I'm saying with the relationship shit in general. I just feel like because we're human, we damn we don't know how to love each other. We don't, I mean, we don't know how to love ourselves, so we damn sure don't know how to love each other. We don't know what grace look like because we never was taught it. We don't we don't know how good parenting looks. So things gonna happen, and because the, that's the dynamic, and we don't know how to forgive our damn selves. We so judgmental. That's yeah. just life. So what happened is we in this relationship. I make a mistake, I lost your trust, right? You make a mistake, you lost my trust. I make another mistake, and now we talk about I'm the man in the house. You need to, you need to follow me. How the fuck are you want? She gonna follow you? She don't even trust you, and she don't even know how to gain the yeah, trust you because I'm, she don't even know where to get it from. No, I like that. I like that you said that, and I think that that's where like that's why in relationship, that's why communication is key, bro. Because and being upfront and honest and like, yeah, everybody has a work in progress, but we got to be intentional. Like you said, I had to learn this. Facts. I, who I was in my first relationship is not the man I am today. Like my my first girl wouldn't even recognize me in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm more affectionate. I can communicate 50 times better like i'm just a whole different man right and i and sometimes people have to learn on us and sometimes people have to teach us right because we either going to be a teacher or we're going to be a student in every situation we ever find ourselves in but once you realize like all right cool i have to be intentional about this growth so yes i did not understand patience like the last girl i was with before i was in this relationship i can't say i was the most patient person i understand why i wasn't patient because i already saw like damn this gap is a little bit too big for us to close so i'm not going to stick around but the fact of the matter is it i'm way more patient in this situation so it's like through each situation. Well, it's easier to be patient and no, more patient in this situation. No, no, I don't think so because at the end of the day, your patience get touched, get tested. Like things happen. Like you and your girl, y'all went through y'all rocky moments and y'all back. So you're a walking testimony. Nobody said relationships was supposed to be easy to make them work. Right. Friendships not even easy to make them work. Not even. Think about you and your closest homies. Y'all went through the most shit. What tends to happen is at somewhere down the line, somebody gives up and they never continue to fight because of that lack of trust. You got to realize that. You got to trust yourself to mm. make the right judgment call, right? Because it's like, damn, this is why I say way out the facts. I'm not even speaking logically. I'm saying, like, even from a standpoint, because we get our feelings hurt, too. But it's like, damn, do this person mean more good to me? Because everybody that's hurting your feelings, I mean, they're doing it intentionally, mm -hmm. right? That's what you got to judge somebody off. Like, even if your girl lied to you, right? And I used to be, the, I'm the main person. Man, you lied to me. I, I can't fuck with that. Because I'm not going to lie. I hurt your feelings before I lied to you. And I don't mean to be like, I'm going to be disrespectful. But I'm saying, like, even if I got to say the hard shit, I'm going to say it because I'm not, I, it ain't going to sit right in my spirit if I don't. But you know, women lie to protect themselves mm -hmm. because they never know how a man might react. They ne you never know what their circumstances might. So now I'm looking at a lie differently. Like, damn, now it's not just that you lied because I don't like that. But let me get to the root of: Did she lie to me to deceive me, or did she lie to me to protect her? And sometimes it could be a blend of both. It's not okay. A lie is a lie. But the fact that matter is, I'm being more patient with understanding. Like, okay, she might have told the last nigga this, and he might have swung on her. So she might be afraid that if she tell me this, so I got to make her understand. Listen, you could. The only thing that bothers me is a lie. Keep it honest. I can handle anything that you come, that come out your mouth, but if it's a lie, I can't fuck with it. Now the next situation, this is my this is me being patient. Now when she get tested again, she got an opportunity to be upfront or lie again. Now you lied to me twice. Now I got a right to say, you know what? You're not my type of person because this is my boundary. I told you what it is. I set the boundary and you overstepped it again. So now you're deliberately disrespecting me because you already under, I understand that it's a trigger and it's a fear, but I don't have to be that patient with something because now you're triggering me. Right. And I feel like that's the intentional part of our growth. Like as men, yeah, we got, bro. We got, I was I was sitting here thinking, right? And it's like, if we don't submit to God, bro, we'll run rampant, bro. Because as men, can't nobody stop us from doing what we want to do. Not even our friends, nobody. This is why when women say, why don't you stop? You can't stop. A man going to do what he want to do. Right. But the fact that I'm afraid of God, I really fear God, bro. That's, that keeps me in check. And that's what I think, that's where I'm trying to go with it. Because like when, when I say we playing house, like think about it. Even patience, like I think to me, all of that comes from the source, right? Yeah. God, and, and it's like, we're doing all this back and forth for what? It's, it's all in vain because yeah. we're not married. You know what I'm saying? And again, yeah. I'm, ta I'm talking about us. No, me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say that because, like, bro, I don't, you don't, nobody deserves patience if you're not married, right? Like, it, it like, because think about it. When, when, when I'm thinking about patience, you broke down patience, I hear, like, okay, like, you got a couple times to do me wrong because it's about da da da, right? Man. And marriage is say to death do us part. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, if my girl lied to me, right? And I might have this a little fucked up. I'm still growing in my faith too. But mm -hmm. like my girl lied to me. Honestly, it ain't even for me to understand. But you know what I do have to understand? That 
God made us human, and we make we all flawed in our humans. Hundred percent. So as long as you're working to, to get better than that, hundred percent. For me, so it's like it's about I I gotta take that to God. I gotta yeah. pray on that, and it, it might sound cliche, no, but no. I say that, but like. We're doing this for people that we're not even sure about. That we're, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but it's like, it's like, I ain't mean to cut you off, but it's like, the thing is, bro, that's how you find certainty. Like, you find certainty in situations that didn't work that you thought you were sure, but that's how you get better in your judgment. Nah, fuck. Because, look, you, you just made me learn something with the whole, you know, Adam had to make that mistake for us to even bear the, the burden that was casted upon us. But it's like, if you don't make that mistake, then you don't learn. Nah, fuck. And that's just what it is. So it's like, yeah, you might propose, and God, I would never speak this in your union, but whatever. Like, if something was the whatever, whatever, it's like, you will know, you will have to, and that's where the art of accountability comes from. Like, I don't, you said something earlier where, like, people want to blame. The reason I wrote that book is a mirror on my cover, bro, because this is a self-reflection book. I don't want to blame you mm. for why I trade and thoughts ain't go through. And I'm not even going to blame me, but I can take into account my contribution, right? Mm. So if you isolate every situation and focus on your part and your partner focus on their part and don't cross-reference it in no way that could be detrimental to the union, that's how true growth is endured. So, I'm with you 100%. So they, that's, that's the purpose for it. It's like I'm teaching people like, all right, the art of accountability is not he did, she did, us versus each other. It's, okay, Hill, what could you have done better? You uh, you answer that within yourself and then I answer within myself and then we read to each other damn bro damn bro I could I could have communicated better then you say no dog I, I could have probably taken it but now we both taking accountability now we making progress but the only way we learn this again bro is through that process you can't you don't get to that point without without making a little bit of errors bro no nah, you're right I, I no you I'm like it's, it's really nothing else to say about that I just think in the relationships, it's just, it's, just, it's it's easier said than done. Yeah, I, I, and I remember I said I had something to say to you. Oh yeah, yeah on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so remember we had this conversation. I said you said that on one of our episodes of the Trade Thoughts, and I said no, you just gotta do it. It is. I will. I will attest to say, bro, this shit really is work, and it's like. But I seen you thug it out and sleep on a nigga couch, bro. Mm -hmm. And you ain't no sleep on the couch, nigga. You you your own man, like. So when I that's what I it, it is easier said than done. I I'm giving that. Mm -hmm. It's easier you was 100% right in that, but it's still doable. Yeah. You got to well, do it. I, and I now nah, bro, I'm with you. I think like that I just be giving the opposite opinion yeah, yeah, yeah. on purpose now. But now nah, you right, bro. What I would say though, but I had to say this to my my fiance the other day. I love him. Mm -hmm. I love him. My my part. my superpower ain't just superpower. No, that's a fact. So me thugging on the couch might be a superpower that I got. Yeah. Like my girl like she like she she nine months pregnant. She get up Keep trying to fucking clean and shit every day, and I'm like, babe, I got you. You ain't gotta like. I know like you, it, cause like she ain't oh, working. Talk about it. And, I, and I'm and I'm and I'm taking care of the crib right now, so she probably feel like, and I can understand. I'm not in it, but I probably can understand. Like it's probably feel it's that's a whole different amount of pressure. So now she feel like she probably feel like, bro, he's working right. <laughs> the least I can do is clean and cook, and I gotta like overexert myself. And if I and if, if I don't cook or clean one day, he gonna look at me like this. And I'm like, babe. You ain't got to get up and work every day because I, and I understand why you might feel like that, but we ain't there, babe. Bro. You feel me? And, 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 and I appreciate you for doing that, but you need time. Let that be my superpower because I told her the other day, I was like, I'm starting cooking and shit. Yeah. I'm like, I'm about to be up there with you now. Yeah. She like, boy. <laughs> and I had to tell her, like, babe, just like that cooking shit. Like, I know we was joking, but I, I can't tell you shit. I ain't about shit. to touch you on yeah, that. I can't you feel catch me? You like, even when I get my Mac potential. You gonna you, be doing this in your sleep, me. yeah. You still got and I'm me. like, and, and I gotta understand that that's not my. I can cook Yo, and help you, bro. like you can help me, but babe, like don't ever. I don't want you to chase who what I am. I'm, Yo, what I'm doing, bro. I swear, bro. Like my girl not pregnant, but same notion, like. I step up, you know what I mean? I, she say all the time, I don't want you to look at me like I'm not doing enough. I'm not looking at you like I'm not doing enough. If I couldn't bear this burden, I wouldn't bear it. It's not mm. even a burden to me. This, I'm capable. If I wasn't capable, I'm not complaining so you don't have to think that mm. I'm thinking anything less. Because one thing about what I know about us as men, bro, we, you grew up playing team sports, you understand teams. Mm. You understand that sometimes people on your team can even be the best player, but they might have an off day and you got to step up. And because we know that, because you was an athlete and you was actually a good athlete, and I was an athlete for much of our lives, we understand that one day you might have to put up more points for us to win even if I could be the better athlete and like like you just said with the cooking thing like I cook I'm, I'm I can cook you know what I'm saying I feel like my girl cook better than me you know what I'm saying like personally because she got a wide variety of shit that she can make but I, I'm really nice in that joint but I know for if I tell her like I, don't, I know I can't really touch you in that but it's not a competition it's a team mm -hmm. so it's like 
the better you get, the better I get. The better I get, the better you get. Because you, the last thing you wanted, the, the, you ain't, our value is not, I tell her all the time, it's not your value to my life, is not financial. Mm. You can't, you can't, you don't add, you add in ways that is invaluable. You add in ways that are priceless. So I don't need you thinking that you have to contribute financially, meet me halfway. That don't help me. Like if me and you was roommates, I can't say that we was pushing ourselves to our fullest potential because we splitting half the bill. But you figure out like, damn, you, you're over here probably a couple wrecks. And you probably at one point thought you couldn't, <laughs> couldn't handle that couple racks, and now you, that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when, when women so used to being independent, they think that we judging them. Mm. And it's like, we not, I'm not I'm not even monitoring your progress. If anything, you, your, your fiance is she nine months pregnant. Carry my child correctly. That's your only responsibility right now. Mm. Don't worry about cooking, cleaning. If I, Unless I say I need help, you don't have to think that I'm thinking like that. And for the ladies that's out there, men don't, we don't think like that. If, I'm not going to say all men in the world, because it is, people got their own way. But I could say, speaking for me and Hill, just off what you just said, we don't think like that. It's like, if you are contributing, value is going to look different on different days. It's not going to always be the same. And it's like, I look at this shit, I call it love currency. It's like, what's valuable to one man might not be valuable to the next. It's mm -hmm. just like when you go in different places of the world and the currency is worth different amounts. It's the same thing. So you might have been used to dealing with one man and your value might have been going half on the bills. And you might have been having, that might have gave you your say so and the respect you wanted. But when you come over here, when you're dealing with a man that actually like providing and doing, making sure you good because you want to show to that load. That's the type of person you are. You she want says it. she feels safe over here. That's you, what a shooter's bitch. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like when you got, when you're dealing with a man like that, you got to step out his way and figure out a way for you to be the best Asset. Like I told my girl, study me, learn what I do, and find the best way you can. And I'm a guide her to show me her who I am, but find the best way to assist me. And whatever you do with your time is your time. Like I don't need you to dedicate all your time to me. But if you want to be valuable to my life, it ain't based on the cash you're going, because that's not I'm had these responsibilities whether yeah, I'm with you or not. You said something that, that um like I, I I used to do this and I just want to like I'm not no coach or nothing like that, but I think where I went wrong was I used to always, I was big on sacrifice, mm -hmm. right? Even when it came to friendships, I feel like your friendships is sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. And like I, I um, I think I was talking to my my big brother. Hey, get us DJ. a drink. Get us a drink. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm want? I'm listening to you, but I'm going. Yeah, to no, what you want? Get what you want. Shit, we going for the sake of the conversation. We going fuck with it. What this? Did you fuck with this? That's cool. You don't like it? No, it's cool. It's cool. Um, <laughs> try to say we got the brunt. It's almost done. This one is better, but all right. But yeah, that shit tastes like honey a little yeah, bit. But yeah, but give give us a little shot in there. We're gonna sit. Be cool. Yeah, get a uh, cup. Take it from the all right, so behind you, cause I ain't clean this one. Up. Look at the bottom one. Or yeah, the middle one. Whatever. Yeah, I was gonna go in the middle. Right. So this is for you, cause this is yeah. Just go ahead. Just look at that. Tell me what you gonna do. You, you ain't gonna do nothing. I get one. I get some. You gonna have to. Yeah, you pass me that. It's yeah, fine. Fuck it. Yeah. Um. So. I was saying that because like, oh, this one empty. Yeah, I was about to say that shit ain't got nothing. Just uh, hit the white guy. I don't like that. I got you, brother. I was going to fuck with the Bel Air Rose, but I don't feel like all the suds and shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, why I yeah. said, no, yeah, we're going to yeah, just do the bum boo. Damn, niggas be drinking this shit. <laughs> God damn. He letting us know this shit product placement for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, shit, no, bro. Let me give you half of this, bro. We're going to just, we're going to do what we got to do, bro. I'm I'm a, I got some more. If you can, um, yeah, we're gonna look do behind you. Is it any uh of the bottles that we just picked up? Um, just give us whatever over there. Anything I got. You want to dump this it. out and, and you drink this? Uh, no, we're gonna hit this first, and then when it come back, we just go. What you can't mix? Yeah, we can try. Yeah, if I go, we got to do. It. Yeah, so um, one thing I was gonna say, you know, and hopefully oh, this shit got ashes in it. I ain't even peep. It got ashes. It looked like some type of black shit. Get it on. Yeah. I said, look, you did, but no, I I looked at yours. I ain't looking at mine. Yeah, pour this in there. I will get I get something. All right, bro. I just, no, 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 no. Go ahead. <laughs> I just double cut. Oh yeah, I fuck it. Um, all right, I'm here with it. Can you, matter of fact, can you just, uh, if you take that, that brown box off, the brown, the brown yeah, yeah, take yeah, the Clorox yeah. and all that off. Uh, unless you want this, I don't care. Yeah, I really don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Yeah, 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 I'm cool. Yeah. Just a little something. You, we, yeah. we talking now. That's yeah, all. Good. I might have to make, throw this on a trading thoughts page. Ah, uh, that'd be dope. But yeah, um, so yeah, so. When I was coming up one, and this is what I mean by hu being human, bro, and, and playing house, and some shit just don't be worth it. Like, I would do things thinking, like, man, I'm sacrificing, I'm sacrificing. So the moment my girl would say something that I didn't like or I felt like she... Wasn't appreciative. Yeah, because I feel like this is something that men Go feel, through. and this yeah, is real. Yeah, yeah. Like, the moment I feel like she don't appreciate what I who I am and what I'm doing, it's like, man, you don't understand the sacrifices I do, the sacrifices I do. I was talking to my big brother, uh, follow the DJ. He was like, bro, we got to get out of this sacrifice mentality. And I, I, he might not have said it just like this, but this is what I took from it. And I'm like, damn, that's right. Ain't nothing I do for you a sacrifice. 
It shouldn't be. That's a decision. It's a decision. And yeah. I, I I even put it in my caption because I'm like, yo, that's so real. That's for anybody because like the moment I feel like you don't appreciate what I'm doing, I'm gonna feel you're away. You take it personal, yeah. But now I gotta re, re trigger my brain. It's like, yo, I'm not sacrificing nothing for you and my family. Yeah. Everything I'm doing is because I want to do it. Yeah. And if it, if it if it falls by the way, so if it goes left or whatever like that, then that's something I got to deal with because mm-hmm. just like anything else, I, I my decision was to buy all this shit. This ain't a sacrifice. If my podcast don't go up, I made a decision. I got to live with that. That's yeah. a that's a, that's a man time. That's accountability. Yeah, and I feel like we got to be like that as, as as and that's why I keep bringing it back to humans because I feel like we can have like nothing against you being a coach. Like we can have all the rules in the fucking world in the book. Mm-hmm. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. But we just gotta have some fucking grace. One, it's understand we're human, bro. Like, bro, shit is gonna happen. I ain't gonna like you every day. You ain't gonna like me every day. I think what's, what what is important is uh, I say about getting in the rooms, right? Our, our community, right? I'm, yeah. I'm learning this now. Like our community is super important because think about it, like I just went to the doctor to get a physical and shit, right? My annual checkup. I ain't gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep you all the way home with you. I probably never did that shit as an adult. You know what I'm saying? And I did it because one of my friends is talking about colon cancer. I know my friend had MS and like I'm I'm in the room with the right people, my community, and they saying, bro, that's super important because at least if you do even if you worst case you find find it's something going on, you, you catch it early. Hundred percent. Right? But I'm just scared to find it out. I'm just no, being, I'm being it, completely yeah. transparent with you, right? And because I'm in that room with my community, I'm able to you know what, I'm gonna do it, bro. Yeah. They they and, and same with like with when husbands, wives, mothers, when you have a community of people who are on the same thing you want, you don't have to be you don't have to worry about going being led the wrong way. Now I'm in a a, a bunch of the room with a bunch of husbands, right? They all understand that, yo, my wife get on my fucking nerves. Yeah, no, 100%. I ain't divorcing her. Yeah. And, 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 and I ain't telling you to divorce your wife because I understand that this is what it is. But if I wasn't around them, I might be telling my story to... To my, a nigga that's single. A nigga that's single that don't even know you. Like, I don't know why you dealing with that. No, 100 Yo, I, that, that shit... First of all, two things you said. One, man, um, I'm big on that, man. I say that about my own children. Like, every day we ain't gonna like each other. And we ain't supposed to. That's the human in us. It's like, mm. that's where people go wrong. Like... You think that like oh because you're my dad you're not allowed to get irritated with me no you you irritate the shit out of me oh mm. that's because that's my mom I'm not no oh you because you my girl no but that's where the patience come in that's where the grace come in that is like all right because I love you and I'm human and my emotions gonna fluctuate as yours are I'm gonna allow these emotions to fluctuate I'm mad now but tomorrow it'll be fine but that's why I, and I'm not trying to, I'm not I hope this ain't coming I'm not trying to like shit on niggas this, but this is me too but think about it your parents your children they deserve that. Which deserve which one? The patience. Oh right? yeah, that patience that, that they deserve. That we plan, and that's why I said we plan a house. Because think about it, we we plan a house with people that we don't know who deserve. I'm, you know what I'm no, saying? I'm gonna, like, you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you where it ties where it ties into that. You propose to your your fiance, which means you have the intentions of being with her for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. So off that alone is where the patience come from. Mm. It's off your intentions because a lot of shit may never happen. But you they, know they say the uh, the road to the road to hell was paved with good intentions. No, but it ain't even about I so. No, that's it's funny. Fine. But <laughs> but look at it like this, right? Look at it like a soldier preparing for war, bro. Like you don't always go into battle, but they train your ass like you gonna go into mm-hmm. why? Because they want you to know what what happened in these predicaments, right? So that's the intention of a soldier. The intention of a soldier is to go to combat. To go to war in the event that it happens. Mm-hmm. So when you think about your intent with your woman, this is why being in clearing your intentions is so important because that's going to let you know if it's worth being patient. Right. If I don't have no intention on being with you forever, then I'm not being patient because that's a waste of my time. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm like you said in the beginning, I'm just waiting for you to fuck up so over and over again. So you got intention of being with her forever? Why not just go ahead and propose? No, because that now comes down to circumstances. <laughs> Hold on, no, that's good. That's not going to trip me up. That comes yeah. down to your circumstances. I I feel like I know what I knew my decision. She was going to be my girl early on. Mm-hmm. You know. What I I mean but it, i had to now see how she carried herself in certain situations now to go into that next step we dealing with real life shit even a couple months into our relationship which is fine it's, it's strengthening our union but at the same time i feel like i want to be at a certain position where i can commit to my marriage mm. because committing to your girlfriend and committing to your wife is two different level commitments and i feel like that's what i'm working on within myself as a man uh taming my ego working on certain things and helping myself get better because who wants to propose we talked about this in one of our three episodes when i said if, if it's pre if we do something and it's um and it's not right or whatever the case may be i don't want to do that i wanted to be i want the timing to be right you don't want to take something out the oven too quick mm-hmm. because it's not going to be right so i feel like right now the relationship we taking a step closer so then it'll be a proposal but each shit is like you got to graduate to that next level she got to show up i got to show up and no, we got to be higher versions of ourselves but getting our way back to it with the whole um concept of like we when I was saying I was being us, what I was being patient with my kids 
and, and, and what my mom understand we don't always got we're not gonna always get along bro me and you didn't argue we didn't bro that's why we friends yeah. I'm a, we only this close because of how our relationship is bro we don't hold no punches with each other bro we really tell each other about ourselves and we come back and we we talk about it I as was just men, bro. Him, i think um like because you know I'm not saying too big on the zodiac shit, but like i was saying you showed me that i don't um i don't want to get along you don't mesh well with fire signs uh, it's Sagittarius, I'm right? Sad, yeah. Right, and I just I was just talking. About, I'm like, yo, we, cause I was interviewing um, Chrisette Michelle. I was said, and I was holding back because like I didn't agree with a lot of things. Like, it wasn't like I didn't like her. It just I had a different, yeah, different opinion. Yeah, on a lot of things she was saying. I swear to God, this is a real story, bro. And we, we done, but I, but intentionally I was saying not to do it because it was an interview. I'm yeah. like, this ain't a you, yeah, it's, it's not a it's debate an interview, right? Yeah. yeah. So and I and she loved it, and I remember at the end, I, I like she had left. I'm like, bro. I wonder where her sign is, bro. She was a fucking sad. She was a sad. I'm like, bro, that's crazy, bro. Lay off, but lay was, off us, bro. But not, not. So we were talking about the other day, and I was telling him, it's not that because a girl was a sad. Like, it's not that like I don't like sads because I got a close friend of sads, and I was saying you, yeah. I'm like woof, and like, it's not that we don't get along. It's just because we actually are friends because that's of that dynamic. dynamic. I, you a yeah. Gemini, right? Yeah. I got a love hate relationship with Gemini's, bro. One of, like either I hate Gemini's <laughs> or I love them. Yeah. And I feel like between me and you, we like I love you, but sometimes we have our moments. But you know what? And I love that. You know what's crazy though? What? Talking about intentionality. I I feel like we were super intentional about that though. Hundred percent. I can. We ain't let it. Say we that. didn't let it. We didn't let the friendship fuck up. We bro. was and we was and that was something that was super dope. That's why I respect about our relationship. One of the most things I was probably the most thing I respect because when we was working, we saw that early. Yeah, early we seen and, it, and bro. We, but we was like intentional about like communicating. Like, yeah, we bro, was that like, shit was like a fucking relationship. <laughs> it was like a relationship. Like, <laughs> we was like, yo, so. And we like at the end of the day, bro. Fuck this, bro. Our friendship is, and we was yeah, super we on that, that shit. shit. Yo, dog, that's so, no bullshit. I remember we before we filmed that one time. We talked for like an hour and a half, facts. expressing ourselves though, like really, like yo, no, this is how you made me feel. He like, no, that's how you made me. Feel. And that's what I ain't gonna lie. That's what made me realize that even that was a relationship, like podcasting. Mm. And because, bro, it took commitment. Our whole goal was like, let's just get the ten. We like, yo, we said, man, we don't know how long this shit going, but let's get the ten because we mm -hmm. seen early. But I feel like. We triggered each other in a good way because we both. I seen the the fucking. I seen the greatness in you, mm. and you seen the greatness in me. And we that's all it'll that's, be. That's how it came about. That, we respect each other it so like, much. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It like, and it's like, but that's. What, I think that that right there is what made us uncomfortable mm. because. Dog, we were challenging each other in ways that we wasn't used to being challenging. You a leader. I'm a leader. So we have to kind of like follow and submit to each other. And damn, all right, damn, you like it that way. All right, fuck it, we do it. Damn, you want to do it that way. All right, fuck it. And for me, that was new for me. And I told yeah. you, my brother said from the rip, the moment he met you, he said, man, I could see that y'all going to frustrate each other, but you need a nigga like that yeah. around you because he going to challenge you. And when he said, I understand because he's seen it way before trade yeah, thought. Yeah, this was at Monopoly. This is yeah, when we yeah. was fucking arguing about Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> so when we finally did the podcast everything he said came full circle because i'm like damn i'm really on days wanting to give up but i said no nah, i can't give up on my dog because all in all i knew you was gonna give up on me mm. and it was like even so it wasn't even about how i felt and i feel like now let's swing it back to what we were talking about in a relationship it's the same thing with your woman is like that's that decision you make every day like but that sacrificial mindset mm. as a man i get it because we be willing to shoulder certain burdens, and I be saying, all I want to do is feel appreciated. I just don't want to. But I be having to learn it just like with kids, bro. And I ain't trying to say that women are like children in a regard from a, a, a I'm not, con it's connected in a lot of ways. Children are our responsibility, as are our, our women. So it's like, children ain't going to always understand. Our women won't always understand. So when I'm leading as a man, it's certain things that I don't expect my girl to understand. Mm. It just so I don't expect my daughter. It's not, it's not like, okay, my daughter's 14, so I don't expect a 14 year to understand. But my girl is 30. I'm 30, so it's not an age thing. It's just like, she ain't going to understand this, but I know this where the intentions come. I know what my intentions are. So she might not like that I say, no, nah, we ain't going to do it this way. We're not going to do this. And just because, that's what I said, to submit to somebody, you don't always have to agree. I'm about to fuck you up some more. You don't always got to agree to submit. You, know, you just got to know somebody's heart. You got to know the I'm intentions. About to fuck you. I'm about to fuck you up some more. Come bro. on, let's do it. I'm drunk now. I ain't drunk, but bro, I'm, I'm feeling I ain't lie to you i feel like we gotta get away from this and know my intentions thing and get more close to be intentional it's the same thing you don't think no not all right even tell close. me how you interpret because it. my intentions is like let's say um i don't know I, my I, girl I, do something yeah, right i get what you're and saying and i'm like but. yo bae i um i think you should do this do or do that right like i'm just trying my intentions is to make sure she don't feel like it my intentions is good my intentions is pure so she don't have to keep going through the same thing right, right? but being an intentional is understanding that this is a trigger word 
she don't like it when I say things oh, like I this. Oh, I agree with you 100%. So I think, but so when we say, like, you got to know my intentions, I feel like that can oh, be a crunch. Oh, no, okay. I'm, oh, my God. So bro, I feel like we got to do a better job at being more intentional. Like, you know what? Okay. If I really want to get something through to my woman or my, my kid or whatever, I have to think about it. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I have to think about how this is going to, but. Act, have about the, think about the conversations that we do, and it have to be an intentional in the approach. You know, I love so that. I, I love get that. My my word, my point across. I love that, and I think, um, and I agree with you, and I and and that's that's how I operate. But I'm glad you dissected and broke that down because for somebody who could have took it like, oh, I could say that, but you know, I don't mean it like that. Mm, yep. no, so you just broke yeah. that down perfectly because, and a lot of people who are not where I'm at from a communication standpoint, they probably can go into a situation and feel like, you know, well, you know, when I say that, I don't really mean that because my mom do that shit. Like, shit, I'll be getting caught. Cool. I'll my like. My I mom, I she do, do so. I'm glad you said my mom do that, and she be like, "Well, you know that that's just how I talk." No, lady, you would not talk to <laughs> me like that. <laughs> so I'm glad you brought it down. I know my intentions, man. Yeah. I got good intentions. But no, so what I mean by knowing intentions, it's just, bro, it's about a lot of people fear the unknown. A lot of people mm. have control issues, and I ain't taking no shots at women, but women, if they could look at their future, they would. Mm. This is why they go get ultrasound to see what this, the degenerate. As men, I swear we want to know sometimes, but sometimes we just gonna be like, whatever it is, we're gonna figure it out when they get there. So by them wanting to control the future. It's like when I say moving with intent, it's like you're not going to, you don't know what a man going to do before he do it. But if a man does something in his intentions as well, I'm not talking about how he talked to you. And I'm not saying like, oh, I can disrespect you, but I meant well by what I said. No, I'm saying that like if this man left out the house with good intentions and he caught a flat on his way back, don't be mad at him for being late to the baby shower when his intentions was good because he went to go get something that y'all left that y'all needed. That's a blanket statement. I'm, you know, I'm always on niggas' heads. Like, yeah. I'm not a simple, like, it's just, it just is what it is. Bro. Cause I'm talking to a man. No, I feel like I, yeah, go ahead. It's a like that's a blanket statement. What you mean, right? By that? So okay, cool. You left out the house and you got a flat and you had a good intention, but did you communicate? You did got you say, to, you got to do all of that, right? But you can't like if we don't say that, then some people gonna be like, man, I caught a flat. You know, I was just good. no. I agree, but that's again that goes to the art of accountability. That's just like yo, you got to communicate. And that's as a man, stop thinking you don't. This is where in the four agreements, uh, the sec, the third agreement is don't make assumptions. Mm. People like dog. I say all the time. People say communication is the key. That's good. But understanding is the door. Mm. You can communicate all day. If the person you're communicating to don't understand, then the door was never unlocked with that key. Because keys can go to doors, but if it don't fit the door you're trying to enter, yeah, it's not going to open. open up. So with that being the case, if I'm up here speaking Spanish and you don't speak Spanish, I'm communicating, but you don't even understand where the fuck I'm coming from to even let it resonate. So for the men, I stop assuming that you can leave, like be as descriptive as possible. Like I have a rule when I'm writing. That one of my journalist teachers taught me in high school Assume the reader knows nothing mm. So when I'm even talking I'm going to assume that you don't even understand where I'm coming from So that I'm going to be so descriptive in my point That you like bro I get it I right. get it I get yeah. it Yeah. And I'm going to still give you more examples To make sure you get it Because I don't want it to be where it's like Oh, that's what you meant by it? Because so many people live life through the perspective of what they think you mean. And people read a message and interpret it from where they think you're coming from, and it could be completely wrong. That's so fact. you're 100% right when you say we ha we can't do the blanket statements. I just want to when I'm speaking intentional or and being uh, with your intentions overall, I'm just saying, man, y'all got to check your intentions. Like, you know when you on bullshit. That's the accountability factor. You know when you you know when you know don't mean well behind your choices. And you got to check yourself because I'm on a tip like this, bro. Like, a lot of men is just adults. Mm. Like you ain't you ain't stepping to manhood yet. You ain't you ain't got no responsibilities. You ain't got no foundation. You ain't got to be rich, but you don't even have a studio apartment. Mm. You don't got your own car. A lot of you you want respect from a woman, but a lot of what you have is attached to her. Mm. And what you have to understand, going back to my correlation with women and children. Women want shit their way. That's just what it is. And it's not like women want to respect your way. But if you have a program and they have no choice, but it's like living in your mom's house. You ain't always like what your mom wanted you to do. Be in by this time. Do this. You're like, how oh, you find you 15, 16, you becoming a man that you want, but you gotta respect her rules. When you got your own shit, submission is not an option. I hate that submission. It's not an option. My girl don't have a choice to submit. Why? Because I'm doing what I have to do as a man, and I'm allowing her to be a woman. It's no back and forth with that. You're a woman. I'm a man. It is no toxic masculinity. It's no power struggle. It's I do what I have to do to get the respect. I know sometimes she don't agree with the shit I say. I know sometimes your fiance don't agree. But because of how you carry it, they don't have a choice the same way it is with parents. So for a man, you can't say you want a woman to respect you, but you in her shit. That don't make sense. Even like it don't you like think about it like this. 
if me and you split a card, because this is for the nigga that's split rent, not saying that if you got to, you shouldn't, but I'm just saying, say me you split a card. That means if I want it on Monday and Wednesday, I got to consult with you mm -hmm. and vice versa. How much freedom do you have if we got to consult with each other before? Because it's half mine. You can't just take the keys and say, I'm taking the car. It's like, no, you got to run that past me. But when you got your own shit, you could choose to let me hold the car. Mm. Oh, no, bro. This is where the boundary come in. No, bro, you can't hold my car this week. And you hate it. You might not like it, but that's, that's my car. At the end of the day, I'm the one responsible if something fuck up. So when you provide the foundation, you don't manipulate the situation and abuse it. Like, well, this is my shit. You don't never make a woman feel like it's not hers. But you, she'll respect knowing, like, well, damn, this motherfucker do pay everything this motherfucker do come through every time i need him so all right i might not like that he's saying we shouldn't do this but i trust his intentions because he have never stared me wrong but if you're a man and you stare her wrong understand that she's going to lose that trust in you and it's once you break trust is like a sandcastle bro once that water hit it shit is over that that's that one lie that's that one move that's that and now think of how long it take to build that sandcastle back up i ain't gonna lie coach wolf ah, leave me the fuck alone nah, bro nah, nah, nah you know bro hey, hey they probably i ain't saying nothing y'all thinking Yo, please go ahead. I love you, bro. He going he about to get on me. Go ahead. because is, that shit ain't got nothing to do with splitting rent. And when you enter, when you, when you, when you, like you're right with everything you said, but when you introduce splitting rent from it, you can lose your audience. I'm gonna that don't got shit to do with splitting. No, rent. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what because I mean. Because you supposed to respect me. If, if we splitting rent, it's supposed to be the same respect. It's supposed to be the same. No, that's the point I'm making. So I'm saying that a man is coming to on somebody yo shit, expecting a you're not going to get respect. You don't but have. You no, should though. What you so you telling me if you move into a woman house, you're not contributing. So she, so yeah yeah. I'm not talking about respect that's due to a dog. No 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 no. All no, right. No. Vice versa. So you're telling me that. You have the right to not respect your woman because she's in your shit. No, so you—that's not saying disrespect. You don't disrespect nobody. Respect is due to a dog. I'm saying that men are coming in trying to make demands, and you're not even giving yourself grounds to stand on. I'm saying if we split the car, that makes us that the respect is not how I respect you as a person. Is respecting you wanting to use the car when you want to use it, and me wanting to use it when I want to use it. We have to come to an, a certain type of agreement. Right fact. now, when the woman split, it's not a financial. The woman respect come from. Her adding value that money can't buy. You ain't say that. You said splitting rent. Yeah, no, I, 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 I tell you, like, I love, I love when you give me the opportunity I'm to just saying, farther once, elaborate. Once a nigga hear that, they they, gonna, they not trying to hear nothing else. No, but when I'm but talking I'm to the men, to you, so I'm not it. saying you. Can, everybody's situation is different, bro. If I got to split with my girl because I can't pay the bills fully, I will. I have no pride, bro. But my intentions is to cover all of that. Why? Because I would rather buy her time. Mm. I don't want her focused on the finances, bro. I don't want that to be a discussion. If I can handle it, I want to handle it. Not for control. It has nothing to do with control, but everything to do with understanding that if I want her to be a certain way for me, but she's selling eight hours of her day to somebody else, then I, I got to also understand that that's why she's not a certain way for me. Mm. And that's the understanding dynamic. For me, to, oh shit, for me, the type of relationship I want, I would much rather her be on available to me the way I need her to be. So what if she going to want you to be available to her? What you mean? Get me, break it down for working me. All, if you taking care of all the bills, you gotta you gotta do the work to take care I of think, the bills. I think I think now we talked about sacrifice, right? I think that that's I don't it's not that it's not like I'm working because I don't want to be around you. That's where intentional time comes in at. If I got four hours a day, right, free, I'm gonna be so intentional, like that's for you. That time is for you. Where's the time for you? I'm gonna have my own four hours too. That's mm -hmm. what my my personal time is definitely I gotta get that up in there. So if you got four hours a day, you gonna give her two? No, no, no. That's her four. I'm my four is in that twenty. So you got eight hours a day. No, yeah, yeah, for me, four for me, four for her. He doing that shit he was doing on Trey Thug. <laughs> but no, nah, no, nah, nah, no, nah, I get it. No, nah, no, nah, so what I'm saying is, no, nah, so you right. I ain't mad at it. Like, I just, no, but everything you're I, saying, I appreciate because you're giving me the opportunity to speak because I don't want to lose the audience. And I'm not one of them. I'm not, bro, I'm not, I, certain niggas on, on the, I feel like they be dweebs. Yeah. And I mean, like, y'all come on, y'all try to put unrealistic expectations on men. And that's not realistic, All bro. I'm saying I'm not like, when, when it comes to that, I feel like it is, it is what works. And you didn't say Obviously, I'm just saying. I agree. We got to be careful with the half fifty fifty shit because what happens is, what if she do want like she she don't want to put that burden on you, right? Like you said, I want to carry it, but like, babe, I want some more time for us, so I'm willing to put in some extra work to pay some bills, so you don't have to do everything, so we can meet in the middle, hundred percent. And I think like it's just like because I'm not gonna lie to you. At one point, bro, I, and we just being transparent. And I'm I'm just being. I'm gonna get y'all my shit. You know, I'm just open book. I feel like when I wasn't making the money I'm making now and my, and I had to split rent with my girl it was a time where like my pride my ego like nah I gotta do all this I'm not saying that this, this no no me. I'm listening I'm listening and they're like I wanted to do all of that yeah, yeah, right yeah. now that I'm doing it right 
I understand that there's certain dynamics that I'm just not ready for. And I'm making a couple of dollars, way more money than I ever thought, like, yeah, to be yeah, honest, yeah. right? And I understand now that, okay, yeah, I ain't there yet. And I'm no, that's cool. It, but listen, bro, we going off your. What is if you if you if you hit it big and you could pay all the bills? Are you going to? For sure, that's your intention. Yeah. So it just goes back to what I'm saying. It comes down. I say every man's intent should be to pay all the bills. Yeah. That don't mean you're going to be able to, bro. I'm, I'm. My girl has her own place. I have my own place. I pay all my bills. She pays a majority of her. But any, I'm here if she need me. That's what the best way I can put it. Cause she lean on me and I take care of it. But the fact of the matter is that's an extra burden that I wasn't prepared for. If she lived with me, she wouldn't have to pay nothing. Why? Cause I'm already paying all of my own bills. Mm. But let's say if I was just coming, I just I was just letting my mom crib full transparency. You know, when I moved yeah, back, yeah, I had yeah. to start back again. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I couldn't jump into a spot, but I was thinking smart. I'm like, nah, fuck that. If I jump into the spot, I ain't gonna be able to do this and do that. So I did what I had to do. I made that sacrifice. But the fact of the matter is, it's like we going back to intent, bro. If 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 me and her was coming out the gate and she, she like, yo, we gonna get with it. She know, yeah. If it we, goes. that's the thing. So you and your girl about to split in rent because some people think that that's okay, not because they. Some it's just people think that that's just the way it should be. Like, oh, you, you, I'm splitting the room with you. I'm saying, as a man, if you, it's like a head coach. I'm gonna keep saying it. You can listen to your assistant coach, but you want final say so that if you live and die with your decisions, and you want your team to trust that's you. That's true. I mean, that's true. So that's, but you're not getting that. You can't. If me and you split a car, you can't have final say. Mm. I might want final say. So I'm saying the only thing that gives you final say is if you do what you have to do that creates that space that say, listen, because I'm responsible. And that's for this. so. Yeah, that's so much more than rent. That's in that's in life. Yeah, the rent is a gamble. Act like we. I get it. You like, got they got a major platform. Not people. even a platform. Fuck the platform. It's just the audience. The audience. Yeah, because like like it's so much. I get what you, I get what you're saying. You saying they can mistake it. But it's it. so much more than rent. Like because the nigga will be like, yeah, I'm paying the bills and you gotta. No, it's but I so said much that. more than don't. That. That's why I said. So all right, cool. Let's step away from the rent then. Right, fuck the rent. Just the responsibility as a man. Mm. You you want to be able to have final say because regardless, man, like the accountability will fall on you. If you have a family and your family sink, they're not going to look at the woman and say, "Well, what what the fuck did you do wrong?" They're going to say, "Well, what's up with your man?" And what? And that's just what it is. That's that's not. That's fact. It's nothing wrong. That's not a gender role. That's just life. That's just life. As a man, we got certain responsibilities. We were born into the world with responsibilities. Just like as women, they got certain responsibilities. Exactly. Like if something that if you don't care, if you being negligent when you pregnant, you smoking, drinking, they gonna look at you. Why are you carrying your child and that? You can't do that. You gotta sacrifice those. Your girl wanted to take the. She was like, man, if I wasn't pregnant, I would have had a mimosa. Mm -hmm. But she knows she pregnant. She can't do that. Yeah. So that's her responsibility. So as a man, if that's the responsibility for you to provide and protect, that is providing and protecting. It yeah. ain't always gonna be financial. Sometimes you gotta protect your girl from herself and her impulsiveness. Sometimes you gotta protect your kids from. Sometimes you gotta protect you from yourself and the, the damages that you might do facts. to your family. You so I, I, I get That's it. A it's, it's a broader conversation. I only use rent. I guess for the surface level of it is, you want to have final say because when it when the ship sank, you are the captain. Mm. You are the captain. When the pilot, when the plane crashes, they look at the pilot. Yo, what the what did you do up there? You had lives in your hand, bro. You had 230 people on this plane, and you failed to get them to that destination. I want men to understand that responsibility. It's not about saying you the man because you got a, a dick between your legs. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my, my language, but it's understanding the responsibility no, that right. comes with being a man. No, you're right. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And so, I think also— And you admit, bro, I, I, let me give you flowers real quick, bro. You you bear the burden. I don't want you to think that you do too much. You do it. No, you really carry it like oh, no, a fucking I man. I, I just think— I, my. My mindset is different. Like, even I hear you say, like, if she come live with me, she ain't got to pay for nothing. And, like, what? what how are you taking that, though? No, 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 That's no, 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 not, not a bad thing. Not a no, bad not thing. even a bad it's thing. Just, I understand it's still things she's going to pay for that makes it so much easier. For, like, for example, like. The growth, growth reason, uh, uh, freaking Wi-Fi. And, not know, even that. What you talking about? The, even little things like her hair. And her makeup. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. her nails. Yeah. To look like, so, like, I'm just saying that because, like, I'm in a position where, like, my, my girl is pregnant. Mm. So, I thought, like, it, it took, it went from, okay, yeah, I take all the bills. Like, I'll do that from oh, I having to pay saying. everything. And it's different. Like, no, niggas, I get it. We don't even under, I didn't, well, I didn't. I can't say we. I didn't really, really fully understand what that looked like until I saw it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, maybe we should have some conversations of how we should work some no, things but out. Again, this bro, shit is you, different. Bro, remember, bro, let's just go back to the facts, this bro. Shit is different. You said it's only you pay nothing to this, you. No, this <laughs> you pay, bro. Like fuck. No, like, no hold on. No, because I didn't. I didn't. I didn't factor into maintenance. I feel like that's her responsibility. Her maintenance, unless I'm gifting that. I'm just you said everything. Like it. No, when I say everything, I'm talking about everything. Like I already have an overhead. That's just, it's my overead no, already. Facts, I facts, pay facts, it by facts. myself. No, I'm with you. 
if she move in, I'm not going to worry about that over here. That's what I'm. That's all I'm talking about. Yeah. The over here. I'm not talking. So again, I get it. You being you technically saying everything. I'm not saying I'm going to be able to take care of hair. Now, the, no, some responsibilities are hers to cover. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm saying mine that was already mine. I'm not going to split with her. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. if I already was paying three k a month, I'm paying three k without you. And, and you know what? A teaching lesson, like, cause you're right for for my guys, and it's some old here told me. When we having these conversations about splitting rent. I think this is the smartest way to do it. Understand that we want to take care of the household, bro. But when we talking about taking care of the rent or whatever it can be, I'm going to give you some game. I think, my, person, my personal yeah, yeah. opinion, you decide what you can afford. 100%. Right? And if she don't like it, then she match whatever you can afford. I think that's fair. I so say like, that all the time. Yeah, so like, cool. So if, if you want to be a man, macho man, you want to pay all the rent, cool. Do your thing. But I think it's just right. So don't try to like live somewhere out of your means. Pick somewhere that you decide that's good for you. And if she's not okay with that, she can, bro. She matches, bro, bro. Listen, bro. But people ver- getting lost. No, verbatim, verbatim. Yeah, yeah, that's I say this exact same thing. Like, if I can afford twenty five hundred a month comfortably, but you see a place that's four k, you're going to account for that fifteen hundred, a hundred percent. Why? Because and I don't want to hear none of that. I'm gonna tell you why though. Rich, because yeah. I only can pay a hundred percent of what I can afford. Fact. So I don't if I, none of that but if, if I'm shit. if I'm in a seven hundred dollar apartment and that's what I can afford and you're not comfortable with it and you see something at two bands, that thirteen hundred. <laughs> it's coming out of your pocket <laughs> Like fuck that Like I agree with you Wholeheartedly no, But again I, th- I always but say bro so, Your bro, intentions we, If you yeah. bro As you grow your First of all I watch you move your family down. As you grow your bag You're gonna take on More responsibility And there's gonna be Less overhead So like I'm not down In splitting rent bro I'm not against it Like I just look at it Like I can afford What I can afford And I don't allow a woman To push me above my means No you smart though I, And that's and that's why you right For the men that's out here I don't allow Like my woman can't If I'm comfortable Where I'm at She can't push me above Where I Cause then I'm uncomfortable Like if I got 200 in my pocket, and we going out to dinner, I don't ask the chick where she want to go because then I'm giving her the power to take me above my budget. Now I got to be embarrassed if I get there knowing I can't cover the whole thing. I'm going to go, I'm going to already do the, the research and knowing through conversation, like, all right, what you like? You like you like steak? All right, let me find a steak place in my budget. But I think, And if she don't like that place, that's just her experience. But I think, bro, and I, I think I've been saying this, and this is just us having a nigga talk. I think I just want you to be careful because you are a special type of nigga in that regard. Yeah. And I've been saying this, for from the beginning, I'm tired of hearing that. No, shit. no cap. So like, like when you saying that, I, I don't know. I, I let's just say 50-50. Ooh. There's so many other people who aren't like that, and because they don't know. But there you like, go. I'm not gonna lie. Like it was a point of time. You ain't. If never. I had two hundred dollars in my pocket, my girl want to go wherever. I'm taking it wherever because all I care about is making her happy. But how do? But listen, I I, I love that you. Ooh, bro. You and so when you talking good. like I that, it's this. like it's it can come off as like from the niggas that don't know. It's like I gotta do that, or they could feel bad. It's like you gotta be careful with your audience because it's so like the audience that you, the people that think like you, you don't have to convince them. No, no, you don't have to convince because they understand. Yeah, but you want the people who don't think like you so you can have a bigger audience. But no, honestly, bro, that's what this conversation is for. Because imagine if somebody just come into consciousness of this. Mm. Men are logical. You can make a man understand. You know why? If men had better conflict resolution, it could be less issues because men can come to an understanding if they talked about it. Like mm-hmm. how we, our friendship is based on us coming to understand this. So if a man All hearing this for the time. first time. If he hearing this for the first time, he like, I never thought of it like that. Mm-hmm. So I got to say it because, again, to go back to what I always say, I'm not speaking to where a man now. I'm speaking to where he must get to. Mm-hmm. And it's like that is coming from, oh, damn, I'm trying to do whatever to make my girl happy to realize and some shit I do is not going to make her. I, I'm My intent is to make her happy, but that don't mean everything I do is going to make her happy. Mm-hmm. You could come in and try to buy the biggest bag and think, oh, yeah, I fucked up, but here go a bag. And she'd be like, nigga, I just wanted flowers. So it's about understanding the person you with, but understanding yourself and what you can't do. And if she loves you enough, she understand it too. So for the men that's out there, I know some men go a Break the bank trying to impress the woman. Bro, I'm telling you, it's easier than you think, bro. They are simpler than we like to imagine because they are complex. But the simplicity is in understanding that, all right, she wants it's the thought that count. That shit sound cliche, Hill. But nah, it's nah, the truth. Keep going through your thing. I'm no. gonna fuck you up. No, no, no it's keep, the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. What I mean by it is you can literally do something within your budget. If you know your girl like motherfucking her, my girl favorite color purple. If I want to do something that's not that expensive, I can go get her some purple flowers. And she'll know he thought about me on this day. Why is he recording me, dog? Yo. <laughs> what? Is there something going on? Yo, this nigga got the chalk on his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from Philly, bro. Yo, I didn't even see this nigga. <laughs> Man, fuck what he talking about. Listen, I'm yo, from Philly. Yo, this nigga got the yo. Why the fuck, dog? Long story short, yo, you like the young niggas hit. No, time out. Wait, wait, you wait. Saw this the whole time. <laughs> time out, time out, time out, time out. No, no, fuck all that shit. You think this a young nigga thing? Yeah. 
No, listen, in Philly, we just keep our shape up line, bro. The young niggas, they go crazy with it. They actually get chuck. I love them little niggas. They actually get chuck. It just Yo, all of a we always did. What the? I'm not letting know where you from. I'm not letting no Baltimore nigga tell me <laughs> what swag is. I'm from Philly, bro. We really, no. like, we really, I fuck with Baltimore niggas. I fuck, I fuck with Baltimore niggas. niggas. Y'all yeah. really family. Like, nah, I'm saying. Like, y'all, y'all, I fuck with how y'all carry. I fuck with how a lot of niggas carry it. Everybody got some thorough niggas same, with them. But, dog, I'm not letting nobody tell me what Philly swag is. I'm from Philly, bro. We really the thoroughest niggas. You know the chalk shit crazy, though. I don't got chalk, though. I got a shape up line. My barber didn't chalk me out. I mean, it's chalk. Same shit. No, it's not. It's a shape. It's a fresh shape up. I just didn't. Man, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> Bro. Man, listen, dog. For the for the sake of the conversation, dog, long story short, dog, don't overthink it, man. Facts. If y'all can't stay within your budget, bro, and this is how you know if the woman for you, if she make you feel uncomfortable for the fact that you can't do nothing, then you just got to take it what it is, bro. Like, because if a girl fuck with you, bro, she'll fuck with you on the air mattress, bro. Mm. Like, every chick I ever dealt with, even if they caught me at my low, I caught some of the thoroughest chicks when I was fucked up. Like when my girl met me, I was still at my mom's. Where did the first time she came you know, to the but crib? I dig where, different. Where, where, where I dig a little mom? different though when you struggling. You said what? You digging it down a little different. When you you Cause you fighting for your life. <laughs> <laughs> so you I ain't gonna lie. Nah. You putting that work no in. No cap. I ain't gonna lie to you. That might be cap. What? Because I feel like what part? You fucking like like the I'm dick joking, better. Bro. I think no. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm fucking. You joke. I'm thinking like I don't think this. Fuck. Sound gay. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that dick better when you struggling. That's crazy. Because, that sounds, hold on. That I don't like how you worded that. I don't give a fuck. No, say, say add context to that. I'm confident in my shit. <laughs> I think I personally think if I was single, right? Yeah. If I'm up, my dick way better. Cause I don't want you to put no fucking smut on my smut name. Smut on my name. No, I get you it. I got something to lose no, now. No, listen. But you I'm gotta, up, bitch. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm you gonna can't tell you, fuck my I'm reputation. Gonna why, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, uh, when you when you when you don't got motion, because I even noticed right when I was writing my book, I wasn't working as much. I was I took completely. I was writing a book. Man, I was probably like, and this personal. I don't even talk about my my sex life, but me, I probably was like going crazy like every day because I had all this energy. Now I really go days, like you know what I mean. I don't even. Yeah, but I'm, I'm so saying, busy. but yeah, you all go days, but when you doing it, I'm you trying. I'm my, I'm going crazy. For, like y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas ain't y'all got y'all be tripping. Like I make sure my girl get her shit off every time, or I'm not stopping. And I know that sound like clap, but at, bro, I make you a simp. Cut it! Don't ever disrespect me, yo. You know, you know I got mad. I take that personal, bro, because I'm the furthest thing from it. A simp is a nigga that let a woman walk all over him, bro. I'm the furthest. I don't get played with, bro. Never in life, bro. I've never got played with. Like women respect me mm. differently. Like I really, bro. I taught niggas how to get bitches, bro. For real. Like I might be. I, excuse me, I ain't with my girl sitting right there. This shit. But no, I really, this bro. Shit. I'm talking for about. Real, I really taught niggas. Yeah, <laughs> I taught niggas how to talk to women, bro. So I, I can never be a simp. But the more I mature, the more I understand. Just being a man and what that look like, bro. It's easy to get bitches, bro. If you a nigga and you still judging your your, your status, uh, niggas really thinking that if they can fuck the same chicks as you, that they on your level. Niggas that they get in the same rooms, yeah, they on your level. You got the game fucked up, bro. You, I don't just because her standard fit you don't mean you fit you on my level. And I feel like that's what niggas have it fucked up, bro. I could never be a simp, bro. I don't get played with, bro. I would never be that guy, bro. Never in life. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I know you meant that because if a nigga ever called me a simp. I'm never giving that much of a detailed uh, answer. Like you meant that shit. You yeah. you like that shit hit hard. Like it hits hit hard. Cause I be feeling like when you do this relationship advice shit, bro. I feel like niggas assume that okay. you coming from that. Like I don't, like I, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a fair nigga, bro. So if we right, we right, we wrong, we wrong. I will hold the man accountable. I feel like sometimes the women weaponize my videos. Like mm. yeah, this yeah, listen to what he's saying. And I see content like that on the ground where niggas do that, and I look at them niggas like dweebs. I ain't one of them, bro. I'm a Philly nigga first. And I always say that. Like, I say I'm a gentleman, but I'm still a man. I'm still a nigga. And I, like, and I don't mean like I'm doing dog shit, but no, I ain't on that. I ain't out here uh, on some. I'm not about to degrade women, but I'm also not about to be acting like women ain't got shit with them. But I think, bro, people just got to be careful with this. I was just telling my man, I'm like, bro, only relationship advice I can give you, I gave him a couple of things. And I say, yo, be careful with the Instagram shit because. People can say some shit and make it look and sound all good, and mm -hmm. you can think your shit ain't good. I'm telling the whole you, bro, going through they, the same shit you going through. Bro, that's why I don't. That's why I took it personal because I stand on business. You know how many people ask my girls? He really like that. They be like, do he practice what he preach? That's the fucking staple question this girl get asked. And she be like, nah, this man, 100% what you see is what you get. This nigga is the exact same nigga on it. You know me on and off camera. Mm -hmm. like, we have these conversations, whether it's yeah, Mike in front of us. Right. And I never try to be perfect, bro. Even like, I never, even, I don't give relationship advice, bro. Because like, what works for you works for you. How you a coach and you don't give advice? I'm because I give. So the thing is, bro, I help people find the solution that's already in them.
That's what coaching is. I pull out the best of people, bro. When you think about J Jordan was Jordan, but Phil Jackson put him in the right position to be Jordan. Mm. That's all I do. I can't tell you what's right for your life because you know why? You're going to blame me if it don't work. Mm -hmm. I ain't allowing that. So you might be like, yo, bro, my girl doing this. What you think I should do? I'm like, well, what, you, like, what, what would be best for you? What decision can you live with? I defer the power back to you. Mm. So you coming to me for – I'll give you perspective, but the decision is yours to make. So if anybody that's looking for a relationship coaching, just DM me the word coach. I got you. Yo, this nigga talk like one of them niggas. Hey, yo, just, just comment coach underneath. You got you got automatic replies now? For sure. This I need to set it up for you. <laughs> yo. Yo. He's talking about seven times you got promo <laughs> code. <laughs> like, yeah, man, just, DM, just, just yo, comment, comment the word coach you know, below. You know, I was leaving money on the table because I was scared to sound like them niggas. Because, but no, I'm going to keep nah. it real. My, I think my brother might have told my older brother might have told me this. And it was just like, bro, no, it might have been one of my friends. Like, like. At the end of the day, bro, the fake is it's supposed to look like the real thing. So mm. I used to be like, man, I ain't trying to look like none of them. But the thing is, people got to experience me to realize that the shit they on is cap. They got to come to a real person and realize that the, the shit is fake. That's why I always love talking to you, bro, because I ain't going to lie. Like, I don't be needing a clip for me. Like, I could just feed you. He going to fuck me up with that Adam and Eve right, well, I, 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 just, I could just, I know. I I know just talk to you. Viral. Like, you going to have the clips on your own, bro. And, and, and another thing you do is, bro, you re- Purpose content, so great. God, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Nah, I said hell tired of saying this trade and thought shit, but nah. he gonna have to respect it. Nah, 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 nah. I'm fucking with you. Nah. Only thing I hate what you do is when you fucking talking. Music? Uh, nah, nah. When you talking like when you comment or writing like is it first person or third person? That nigga Wolf be speaking. Chill, chill. I fucking Tyler, hate that Tyler, shit. Tyler, but it's like marketing. Shut. No, stop. Listen, that's so funny because my girl just realized that I be doing that right. And for the for the people, dog, you giving up my sauce. This nigga Wolf just be talk talking facts. Bitch, how the fuck you were saying about yourself? Like, bro. I hate but look, I'm going viral off that shit, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. you know why, though? Because that shit work. you can't, like, you can't drink your own, I don't know what, even, what, 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 what beverage to you, but, you know, I, so if it seemed like, you know, it's coming from somebody else, then they're going to take it in. Like, yeah. then you, matter of fact, nigga, I'm going to keep it, you do it on Twitter. Fuck, man. I'm going to tell you how, in a different way. You will put some shit like, uh, I talk about the content. Yeah, but yeah, in a I way do. from third person. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do yeah. that. You but I don't never... talk about myself. No, nigga, but you the content. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, you, right. you get what I'm saying? I be like, like man, that's like crazy. Like... I don't know what the fuck they talking Yeah, like <laughs> these niggas talking some shit on this joint. Next thing you know, it's getting quoted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga's going hell of a lot. Nah, so, yeah, I do. You right. So it's you're the right. same concept. Yeah, right, but right. it's just that we know it. But I don't be like, Jay Hill is like, <laughs> I be like, I never say Wolf, though. I be like, nah, I say he make everything make sense. In the the lower third, say the Wolf be speaking. That's what you're talking about. And then in my tagline of the wolf has spoken. That's if this funny. wasn't my brother, we wouldn't be having this talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just seen it like. Yo, but listen, it's so funny because when I see this nigga shit, I be thinking the same thing. I be like, yo, Hill is hilarious. Like, when I seen that clip that went viral, we were just talking about off camera. The I knew. Shit. He don't give a fuck. When I, I seen that drama shit go viral, I said, if, if only they knew Hill, they would have known that this was coming. Yeah. Like, I used to know, like, Hill was like, not to compare, but like he like a modern day, like, I ain't gonna say Charlemagne, but you like in that in that tier of knowing how to get people to say shit that they wouldn't normally say. I appreciate that, man. And I'd be like, and how many times I commend you on that? I'd be like, dog, yeah. how the fuck do you do it? He will literally in the flow of a conversation have somebody admitting the shit that they probably would never say on Candy Camera. Nah, you are a goat, bro. I give you. Nah, you the goat, bro. I, f I, I fuck, goat, I fuck bro. with you, dog, for real, man. You gonna have mad clips from this shit because you be saying that. some shit. I, you, no, said, you, you said a couple things. I'm like, the fuck. No, but listen, yo, he listen. Be like, that, that nigga Wolf do be speaking. <laughs> that nigga do be speaking. <laughs> no, bro, that's why I love you, though, bro. That nigga do be speaking. Bro, you so smart. That bro, like I don't even think people understand that this nigga throw me oops because he know, bro. We talk, bro, yeah, and he will bring he'll bring it to a perspective that he don't even like. He already know where I'm coming from, but it give me the space to exp explain myself, bro. And I appreciate you because a lot of people not going like they allow people they take that content and let people eat it up. You like nah, bro. What about this? And you ask questions that forced me to have. I'm gonna to post the first myself. part though because because it's gonna get us attention. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah. No, remember what I talked to you yesterday about? I said, bro, you know what? I don't even care no more. I'm not afraid to be yeah, crucified for yeah, how I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said that, like, I ain't gonna lie, I intentionally said that Adam and Eve shit. Yeah. Intentionally. Fuck and these niggas. Intentionally. <laughs> like, if y'all make it to this part of the interview, <laughs> I intentionally did that <laughs> because I want Hill to post it and I want people to crucify me. Uh, fuck. Yeah, because yeah. why? Because in three days I'm gonna be reborn again. It's like, no. <laughs> Come back harder than ever. It's like, no. It's like, no. All jokes aside. That shit was good, bro. I, um,. Uh, shit, let me yeah. plug, plug my shit real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man, uh, go grab my book, Sheet is Not Cheating. Go grab The Art of Accountability. I wish we'd have got a chance to talk about it. Art of Accountability, I talk about a lot of shit. Uh, boundary setting, um, acceptance, forgiveness, um, using accountability to think. I got a dope chapter called God is My Accountability Partner. I think a lot of men need to read that. And um, It's just a book that would teach you how to take accountability, 
how to hold others accountable properly and how to receive accountability because I feel like there's three different levels that you got to understand and I got a philosophy in there called the 90-10 accountability rule I consider myself to be a modern day philosopher so how y'all heard about the 80-20 rule check out the 90-10 accountability rule if you govern your life by this I am guarantee you you'll see improvements in your life or your money back oh shit check out cheating not cheating um, I talk a lot about pride and ego, forgiveness, double standards. It's not just, don't let the four words stop you from getting 200 plus pages of valuable information. You know, I'm not on relationship coaching shit, but this shit right here, I promise you, like, it's not a, a problem. It's, this is the solution to the most common relationship problem. So if your shit complex, go see a therapist because I'm an advocate for therapy. But if it's just some simple shit that most people go through, then I'm telling you, I talk about the psychology and the anatomy and the biology and the human mind and how we think by nature. So I was, do I was doing a second book. Oh, uh, man, it was a different process, bro. This shit right here, bro. This shit right here was a this shit. This shit. Hold this for me, Loski. This shit right here was a different process because that one, it was like you know how you do something for the first time and it seemed easy, mm -hmm. but then when you gotta go, like it was during the pandemic. Yeah, don't, don't let that man have you looking crazy. You don't gotta hold it while you talking. No, all right, like cool, that, bro. cool, cool. But just check it out. It's a mirror on <laughs> you the book. to be like, yeah. <laughs> it's a mirror on a book because it's a self reflection book. So it's a, it's a book that forces people to look in the mirror. Mm. But um, I'm gonna set it back. But the fact that matter is the process. I'm glad you asked, bro. This shit, this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to say no, 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 go ahead. Make this cool. shit, this, this process right here, it kicked my ass because um, I was doing it through life. So while I'm living in the middle room of my mom's career, while trying to move, while trying to record the couch, I'm writing this book. And, um, yo, this shit, I even had to learn how to, f I edited it, wrote my book the first time. I did all that, but I didn't format it. Right? Mm -hmm. if you know, if you're an author, you know what formatting is. I had somebody else format it. This time, the person formatted my shit didn't do it. He left me high and dry. I already had a release date. So I had to, my girl tell you, I'm up all night, every day, learning how to do this shit, doing it over and over to get it right. So this process helped me grow. It stretched my, uh, my abilities in so many ways. And now I feel like, oh no, I know front to back i can do anything to where i can teach you before i could just do it for me now i know for a fact that i can teach you which brings me to my next point if you out there and you want to write a book get with me i got my literature legacy program last thing i'm gonna say most people think we talk about generational wealth and it burns me out because everybody think that is money generational wealth is not money generational wealth is information we don't learn from what we bought we learn from what we taught we learn from the tradition that was passed down to us. So when you think about literature being legacy, the only thing that has stood the test of time for thousands of years is books. Look at the, how we learn religion, through books. So if you out there and you got ways of thinking, accomplishment, whatever, you know, think teaching, even if you're just doing it for your family, you need to write a book because you don't want your accomplishments to live and die with you. You want you don't want your thoughts to live and die with you. You don't want your ways of thinking, your methods. If you can change the dynamic of your family by the way you carry it, you want your third, fourth generation down to have that though. Pop Pop thought like this and said, this is how the family should move. Because if you're working to bring your family into a certain structure, you want Amaya's family to be like that, uh, Alani's family to be like that, and so forth, whatever yeah. the children have. And you do that best through information, through books, the literature. You know what I mean? That's something that'll always be around. Yo, could so. you... Cause you could you write my book for me? I could. If you really even want me we, to. Even if we look, we, we think totally different. Yeah, you for write, sure. write yeah, my book? Yeah, for sure. hundred percent. Like, because I don't I don't I'm not writing how I think. I'm writing about how you think. So what is it like uh the biology of Mr. J. Hill written by The bi biography you saying biography in a sense? I guess. I yeah, so it'll it could be written by me, authored by you. Like the biography of Mr. J. Hill written by Yeah, but authored by you. Cause you'll be giving me the information. All I'm doing is making it make sense. Uh what would, what would the percentage be? We could talk about that. I'm you my dog. I I'll be fair. Yeah, we could do the main shit. Yeah, you really want to do something like that? Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 no, for sure, for sure, hundred percent. I would. I, I, I got but, time to do another book. No, I do. Don't, don't I do. I <laughs> I, I, I'm going to put out a lot of these motherfuckers. But the thing is, because I want to see, because I know what you're doing, and I want it to last, bro. That's a project. A project. I'd be honored to be a part of. Bro. I want to see. Yeah. I want to see your greatness flourish, bro. Like you inspire me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You, you inspire me, bro. We don't have to do it now. Let's make. I don't some more clout. You know how niggas cut the bullshit. Not that, for real. No, all right. That's the that's the mistake people make. You think that no, nigga, you need to talk for the first thirty one years of your life mm. because you got another thirty that's gonna look different. So the farther you get away from it, the less important these moments feel like. Mm. Do that shit now, get it out there. You gonna have more important moments to come, and then it's gonna show the growth. So right. when somebody read book one, oh shit, he was in this space right here, but when he turned forty one, them ten years was a whole different process. Now we got part two. Facts. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. Yo, we gonna throw this up on um, however. You want me to throw it up or you want to put it on uh, Train Thoughts? I'm with whatever. I, you want me to give you, truthfully, I, will, I want you to throw it up. I feel like this is great content. But if it don't fit the platform, then throw it no, up. No, I can throw it up. I want it on yours. I don't oh, care. Say that. I, I was just thinking Train Thoughts would be hard. But I can throw it, it on my I, shit. Yeah, it would be hard, I think. But I think that they're going to find it. I yeah. feel like if it, I probably just title it Train Thoughts. I'm cool. That's, that's dope. Yeah. That'd be fire. Yeah. Then like a reunion. I guess I don't know. Because yeah. we just broke up on the, on the fucking podcast tip and never gave him no explanation or nothing. We never told nobody nothing. We just said, all right.
Fuck it. All right, well, I'm I'm Wolf WSC on Instagram. He gonna put it on the on the screen. I know he is. Yeah, J Hill, J Hill podcast. Stream thoughts, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, <laughs> let's That's do it. Good shit, bro. How long um, was that, bro?